time. Have you? Yes, that, of course, <laughs> was the theme song from uh, Facts of Life. You remember that? The early 80s show. That show was um, notable. It had the first... Um, how do I say this in uh, 2024 terms? The first um, developmentally <laughs> challenged uh, star in, uh, in American... I'm going to read out on, uh, on, uh, no, <laughs> on a, uh, on a, on a primetime major network show. Uh, Blair, I mean, it was about these four girls that went to a, a, a boarding school, which I don't think you could show that on TV now. Board, like, like a, a and female Blair, boarding school? Yeah, and Blair's cousin was uh, played by comedian Jerry Jewell, who uh, had cerebral palsy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. and uh, like you can't, I mean, obviously in the environment of 2024, you can't get away with that, but I remember... So she, she basically paved, paved the way... For the way before, uh, like life goes on, in the son of uh, Walter White, who always was getting breakfast. Yes, like uh, oh, what's for breakfast? This yes, is... without Jerry Jewell, they would have had none of that. And you know, you can't get away with it now. But I remember when we were in college, um, the uh, you know how they call me Evil Jared. There's a good Jared, and his roommate drove this like really cool. It was like a Dodge Aspen or a Chevy Volari. Like it was a real piece of shit back then. But you know, had it survived now, thirty years later, it would be like a classic car. Back then, it was a piece of shit. And, uh, and yeah, we we went to school in Philadelphia. And we came home one time, and the front end of the car was all fucked up. And like, what happened? And apparently, they were driving around doing Jerry Jewel impressions and were laughing so hard they wrecked the car. <laughs> So I mean, obviously, so I can't, you, you were, obviously were, I can't do the impression because I mean Trump can. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> if I was a Republican, yeah, I'd be doing, I'd be all over it. But yeah, you, you, if you if you were to do it now and then later you run for office, they would take the clip from today and yes, and, and blackmail you with that. Oh, or or make me president. But oh. either way, welcome one and all to the Dumpster Pile Gambling Stream. We're back on Thursday, the 22nd of February, 2024. Uh, I'm the guy in the black shirt. I'm joined by my uh, counterpart, the guy in the uh, yellow... Puked on, uh, pissed on, tunic. bleed on, We will uh, We will presumably be joined later on by our, uh, our sports expert, uh, former German Wrestling Federation champion of the world... Tark and Aslan, and possibly by Cam Girl, uh, what's her name? Candy? Cat uh, Cox. Cat Cox. Cat Cox, who is at a Cox, shoot right Cox with X, not with CK. Right, and yeah. she is at a uh, shoot right now, uh, but she says if she gets off of there and uh, doesn't have any STDs, she may be showing up here. Is she, what, what That's kind of, enough for me to put her on the flyer. Is she like, uh, is it like a porn shoot or like photo shoot or? Well, it's for my dirty hobby, so I'm guessing it's a porn shoot. Oh. Yeah. So she may show up here with a, with an outfit dirtier than yours. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's, I, that's mean, how, I mean, thank God we don't have possible. a bla black if, light in here. If it comes up that she shows up, we have a game all prepared for her using the spinny wheel, which is already prepared. Uh, if not, we're going to go with our normal crap. Uh, in any case, we are here not to talk about Jerry Jewell, not to talk about porno. No, we are here to talk about gambling, and that is what we're going to do. <laughs> Well, basically, man, man, man. basically we, 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 we seldom talk about it. We just play and talk about other shit. But, uh... Well, we sometimes talk about games. Like, yeah. We're doing well, we talk about when it. We're, when we are winning, yeah. And let's see what our, our balance is. Um, oh, so we are not doing well. No, not at all. Oh, uh, oh, There's a new uh, game from Hexo, though. Oh. Uh, that I don't see how we got, when we average like a 96% payout rate, how we manage to lose thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Hmm. That's, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> I think, I think uh, maybe your suit isn't dirty enough and we're getting bad luck. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm going I'm, I'm to give you a little bit of... Uh, what, what do you mean not luck. dirty enough? Yeah, I was going to give us a little bit of good luck. There you go. There's some shrug. Yeah. That, that I believe, that no, is... going to smell that shit. Yeah. The, the old oh, big bite. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. In fact, one of the... Uh, you, you have a scissor? Um, one of the uh, one of the things we'll be using today is I found this at the uh, supermarket. It's a uh, 
It's a barfy shark. It's oh. a shark. Barf. So, uh -huh. so and this is a shark themed game, I take it? So, uh, you may very well later get to see the barfy shark. Nice. Alright, so it's Thursday, so we've had like an entire week uh, since the last show for, uh, for news to pile up. Yeah, what has the Banana Man been up to? I mean, I, I, I skipped the whole weekend. I didn't do anything. You know, I, I've come to find that when you're in Berlin, unless there is something specifically going on, like one of our buddies is having a party or something, there's not much point in going out. No, you not know? at all. Um, you know, so... Just to go out to a bar or club around here, especially. It's pointless unless there's like a special event or something. Yeah. Go and sit in a bar. So, so my, my, my plan was originally just to stay in and uh, play uh, Hell Divers 2. Apparently, everybody's talking about it. Is, is that a game for what? PlayStation? Uh, yeah. So is it uh, multiplayer? It, it, it's only multiplayer. Oh. So it, it's, it's, you're like, a, like you're shooting around, killing aliens and stuff. Yeah. And you have to like uh, free. Uh, planets like uh, spread democracy, democracy around. Oh, there, right. you know? So why don't we... and and they have to yeah, don't like... they realize democracy doesn't work? No, it's it's like advanced democracy. It's like it's like democracy. In, oh, like, like democracy in like in the 1800s back when it worked. No, like like in uh, Starship Troopers. You know, it's, it's really fascism, but it's oh. it, it's like democracy. Democracy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, you have to go from planet to planet to kill like aliens, but you can only do it with other players. Oh, okay. So everybody deploys on the same planet, and mm -hmm. the, sa the same planet gets the liberator, and they have like a percentage point. Mm -hmm. And you have to advance like from 0 to 100 to liberate the planet, and then you can advance to the next planet. And it only, it, it, it's only playable in multiplayer, so... Oh, fair so enough. So and it, it looks pretty good, and I wanted to do that, but uh, I didn't. Oh look, big win! Oh. 50 bucks! 50 bucks, oh nice! Alright, and on a win like that, it seems uh, as good a time as any to point out that uh, on Dumpster Fire, when we win, you win. Everybody in the chat wins. So, in the event that we hit a 200x, that means everybody in the chat will get a 50% deposit bonus. If we hit a 500x, that means a 75% deposit bonus for everybody in the chat. And in the unlikely event that we hit a 1000x, but don't say it couldn't happen because Banana Man... I have like a shit ton of times before. Shit ton of times. If that happens... You will get a 100% deposit bonus. That means you get two euros for every euro you put in. I don't recommend you guys going out and doing anything illegal. But let's say you live with your, your parents, uh, your grandparents. Parents are getting a little older. They fall asleep. That would be the time, if any, to go in there. Steal a golden tooth. Well, I would say maybe. Don't steal a golden tooth. They need that. Oh. You know what they don't need? That extra kidney. Oh. Maybe you cut out the kidney, a yeah, piece yeah. of liver. Um, their hearts, lungs, I mean, old people don't need that crap, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab that shit, take it over to Tijuana, sell it, and get all the cash you can because you are going to get two euros for every one euro you put down. That is the time to cash in. Make sure you don't get pesos though, yes. if you're in Tijuana, because uh, that's not going to take you very far. Those, anymore. That, those, are less, those are less popular than the, uh, the rumor. Yeah, it's not going to take you very far. Yes, but you ain't going to get shit unless you do what, Banana Man? Gotta smash the claim button. Smash that claim button. Oh, I'm, I'm smearing the fucking hot sauce all over here. Oh, well, just lick it off. Dude, I, I might get, like, several diseases if I lick this <laughs> shit off. Except for more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see who's in the chat. Uh, Tebow's here. Anti H is here. Uh, I think Alexi is here, but this may be leftover chat from, uh... Yeah, I think from, from last one. And that's all in the spin chat. We also have a few viewers in the, uh, in the Twitch chat. Um, which is unlikely. Yeah, and probably all over at kick too. Oh. Wait, which one is kick? This one? Uh, no. Uh, you mean, it's you can't see it. Oh, I did one. Oh, okay. So here, hey, well, no way, we gotta respond to that. Uh, so Nancy no, Thomas that was, that was, was, the last, was oh, it, it was last stream. All right, well, uh, if if we get uh, if we get comments, um, if you get a noise or something, something pops up. No, if you get comments from kick, you're gonna see it again. Oh, okay. All right, so you you, you you clean that up and then just sort of like, oh, you know what, I hand me that stuff over there. What? The stuff on the chair? I mean, clean your hands first. But, uh, okay, so I was going through my basement, right? And I found a bunch of stuff that I've been storing in there. I don't know if this stuff is worth anything to anybody in the chat, but let me know. Because maybe this is stuff that we can uh, give away as prizes. Okay, this, <laughs> this, that. okay, this, I don't think there's going to be a lot of these. I don't know, uh, but I mean, like, there's a lot of, I'm guessing, gaming nerds in the chat. This, when they had the premiere 
of the uh, PS4 in Germany. This is what they gave us. Along with the PlayStation 4, this at the Sony Center in Germany, do not play it, and they gave us this along with the PlayStation. Now, now the PlayStation, what is it for? Did, did, did you have to wear it like Miss, no, Miss, it's, it's Miss Pennsylvania or something? It's for this. Oh, that's super gay. No, no. Yeah, that's, that, that's super, super gay. Right, so, so anybody <laughs> super gay in the chat that thinks that this that's is... A, that's a scarf that like, Jimmy will wear. Yeah, anybody wear. think that this is worth winning, let me know because we can put that up as a prize. Is it like if you're a, like a French gay player or something? That's like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's for like uh, Lilo and Stitch players. No? Oh, Alright, I found this. this that, is that, like that, that looks better. A Jägermeister handkerchief? This is like an XL, you know? Is it like a handkerchief or just a. Uh, no, it's like a bandana. To ha hang you know? on your wall. Well, no, I think it's for like this. Like, you, know, you, you put it on like this. You know, and then like like a Hulk Hogan, like so when you're going bald. Oh, oh like yeah. Me, like, oh, hey, I should win it. You do that, and then you know and, and you can wear this until you get your hair transplants. <laughs> All right, so this you could win this, possibly if anybody's interested. Uh, now this I can think I think this is worth it. New with tags. Oh. The a Hard Rock Cafe. Where did you get that from? Uh, Kiss retirement tour from 10 years ago. Which of the retirements? Uh, well, the one that was 10 years ago, not the one that was this year. There's been a and lot like of you can see, And I got this, like very rare, I got this in Germany, but it still has the SS style S's that are illegal in Germany. Oh, really? Yeah. You, Kiss cannot have that anymore? No, no, like, not, they've never been able to have it in Germany. Like, if you look at the Kiss, it looks more like Z's. Really? Yeah, when you see Kiss in Germany. Makes a lot of sense. All right, so, here, stick this over there. Uh, this, oh, there was also like a, a Kiss pin. Oh, yeah, th we have this. I'm not sure what you do with this. Let me see the camera. Let me see. All right, okay. Here we got this thing. It's like a, uh, it's like a kiss pin. It's got all four members, including whoever replaced Ace Freely and Peter Chris. So you got that. And then uh, this is very rare. Oh, okay. hey, shit. We got, we got uh, three oh. spins. All right. Let's all come to this last thing. Let's see if it makes it. Oh, the, 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 this is uh, from Push Gaming. It's from uh, the same as the Shark Attack or what's the name? Raider Shark. Shark Attack. I mean, uh, Raider Shark. Okay, two out of ten, and we're already up to 12, 14 bucks. 15 bucks. Three out of ten, and we're already up to 15 bucks. Four out of ten, and we're already up to 15 bucks. Five out of ten, and we're already up to 15 bucks. The fuck? Oh, you're getting scammed here. We're totally getting scammed. Uh, what is this? 15 fucking bucks? 10 out of 10? Okay, how much is that? Eight fuck off bucks. Uh. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so Nothing. I have this from the Jägermeister Tour. 2003 Jägermeister Tour. Damn! Ah, uh, uh, wow. Well. <laughs> yes. And, uh, up, like, look at these hotspots. Tampa, Orlando, West Palm Beach, Atlanta, Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Poughkeepsie. Well, I'm not going to get into it, but this is a, a tour I was roadieing on. Hey. Yes. And uh, you can only get these uh, if you worked on the tour or if you showed up there and got one of the thousands that we handed out. <laughs> so this, I think, may be worth something to Jägermeister fans, if any. But I don't wash it because it's going to disintegrate. Well, I don't think it's as cheap as those other... Those you other remember that one games. that you gave one t-shirt away and she washed it one time and it just disintegrated in, in, in like... Not not like it didn't get holes or something, it just disintegrated in fucking dust. The Bloodhound Gang one? Yeah. She said that it disintegrated? Did, you didn't, didn't you see the pictures? No, no. No, I mean the only thing that didn't disintegrate in tiny little pieces was the print. The shirt fell apart. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So completely <laughs> fell apart. Like that, nothing left. Okay, well, <laughs> I found a few more of those, so I guess. <laughs> if, we, if you win one of those, I guess hang it on the wall. It's not like some stitches, like, you uh, can't wash uh, it. open up. No, it, it just. It, oh, it, what shirts it, do it you It fell have? into dust. <laughs> How much you paid for those fucking shirts? Well, I mean, they were Jägermeister promo shirts, so obviously oh. Jägermeister paid for them. Okay, so. Next to nothing. Oh. As good as nothing. As good as nothing. Uh, so oh, oh let's, uh, let's make a little uh, video of. Uh, oh, okay. Of us uh, inviting people to talk. <clears throat> Video. Uh, yo. Hey. Okay. So we are we are streaming live now. At Dumpster fire. And in the event that our special guest uh, Cat Cox shows up, we have all kinds of crazy crap. We're going to be uh, 
I guess subjecting her to, we have uh, the heart sponges, we have the styrofoam eggs, we have the caramel Oreo remix, we have Maggie Simpson's pacifier, we have toothbrush, toothpaste, Barfy Shark, <laughs> Banana, Marshmallows, Rubber Chicken, oh, oh, the Dental Speculum. What's going on with this shit? Who the fuck knows? You gotta find out. Yeah, if you want to find yeah, out, the you're link going is over to have here. to, you can only find out on the Dumpster Fire Gambling Stream. Streaming live! Right now. Yeah, uh, link is somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, link in bio. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna post this little gem on the socials. All right, let's hit the socials. All right, let me see if, uh... oh, oh, my kid is bugging me. Um, you know how like uh, you can only have Netflix in one account? Yes. Uh, she, she says that apparently, like if she sends you an email, she can get it for free for two weeks wherever she is. Already? So expect, I mean, expect to get an annoying email from her. <laughs> I think she also told me earlier that she rage deleted it. So. Did I what? She rage deleted the, the entire app. Uh, what, Netflix? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's gonna take me All right, I'm checking the socials. Not much going on with the socials. Oh, uh, this uh, Amanda, who is a friend of ours from back in Pennsylvania, back home, uh, has responded to my Instagram post about all this crap. Um, she's convinced that all that stuff is going up someone's butt. Oh, is uh, it possible? Maybe, maybe. Ne never say know. never, you know? You never know. What could end up on somebody's butt? Oh, Jory Pekka K says good luck. Mm. Oh, this is taking forever. You're our IT guy. Dude, it's as fast as I can. At my age, that's turbo mode. And then life now. Oh look, it also comes out of the shark's butt. Oh, look at that. There you go. Yeah. That's good stuff. <coughs> Alright, are we ready to hit the socials? So, it's uploading. The chicken for sushi. No, that, you did, did put that anywhere near your stupid dog. <laughs> I didn't say it. Yeah, Kito Harry said it. Oh, 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 well. You know, this is not going anywhere near that freaking animal. Alexi, Alexi. good evening, gents. Wish you a very good luck for tonight. Thank, Thank you, Alexi. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, no, no, we need it. I mean, look at that balance. We're dying here. Yeah, it's been better. So on the way over here, I managed to not get in any fights with anybody on the street. Oh. But I mean, I found that there is a, uh, like, almost sexual tension on the streets of Berlin these days. Like, people are very angry, you know? Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a never-ending winter. Yeah, but I mean, well, that, that's why I just, that's why I left for the winter, you know? I'm in a good mood, but I'm still getting guys that always want to, well, I mean, they want to talk shit on the street. As soon as you stand up, they run away. <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't know. That, that, that doesn't happen that much in America. Cause like if you talk Yo, shit, everybody had his gun over there. Yeah, I mean, if you talk strap. shit to someone in America, the very least you're gonna get is a punch in the nose. Very likely you'll get you'll get a bullet. Yeah. You know? Over here, people so people don't mouth off. Over here, people feel fully confident about mouthing off because they know they're not gonna get shot. And I, I'm guessing people don't normally just don't punch people on the street over here. No, not much. No. Oh, no. right, you can report. Well, yeah, I, I only had to I only had to yell at one dude. Um, I think yesterday I was riding over to the store because I had the idea for uh, a challenge we could do with all this crap. Yeah. Right? So I'm riding over to the store, right? And, you know, I stop at a red light and I see this dude on another bike crossing the street and looking like he's going to go up the hill, you know, so I, you know, I move the bike forward a little bit so he can get past me. And he, like, turns and almost runs into me and then, like, you know, almost falls off his bike and starts yelling at me. And I'm like, Yo, you fucking asshole! I moved to get out of your fucking way! I, I don't know about your bike, but my bike doesn't have a reverse gear. My bike only goes one fucking way. Which way, where did you think I was going? <laughs> you think I was gonna put my bike in reverse? And like, I almost threw the bike down, but then I was like, 
He's almost he scheduled it away. Almost said something, and then he was just like, um. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, but I, I, I mean, like, unless I actually run into somebody, I won't open up my mouth and say something. That's, and, and like most of these times, these guys are in the wrong anyway. You know? Yeah. You know, and it was some old dude. I almost like this is years ago. But like, when your kid, if you have a kid that's under ten, you have to ride on the sidewalk. Okay. Right, so like I'm riding the bike on the sidewalk with my kid, and this dude starts yelling at me. This old dude starts yelling at me for riding on the sidewalk. It's not like I'm taking up the entire fucking sidewalk. Like there's plenty of room. Like I didn't run into the guy or even come close to the guy. It's just they get mad at you because they have to see you. Like yeah, if yeah. you don't want to fucking see other people, maybe don't live in the biggest city on the fucking continent. You know? I'm just worried that that's what's gonna put me in jail. Is that sooner or later I'm gonna I'm gonna haul off on one of these. At some point, yeah, probably. So, uh, Chad, if you, if at some point he's missing for a while, you know what? Well, I, I mean, they have internet in jail now, right? I mean, how, how else is Chad? I mean, I mean... How he, else is, is P Prisoner PO113589 going to run you, through you, social? You gotta use, they don't have internet in jail. You've got to use, like, a like smartphone that got smuggled in, in someone's butthole. Well, yeah, how else uh, is it? In, in the prison... I was, was expecting that. Your prison wallet phone. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> luckily they're making flip <laughs> We're all making flip phones again. So if I start having to stream it remotely from prison, you know what happens. Yeah, it's really important that I can... The, the video quality is going to be a little bit, you know... Yeah, the video quality is that great right now, you know? What do you mean? It gets great quality. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, it looks great here, but I... Well, chat, tell me, is, it, is the video quality okay? Because a lot of times I was watching it in Pennsylvania. Oh, no. Uh... You were watching uh, while we were streaming, or yeah, when I was watching while we were streaming. Oh, I'm seeing us. Well, yeah, that's why we, because the you only were... way I could see the chat because you're yeah, because you were you were watching because the... you're, cause you're boomer technical expertise. And there's no other way to do it. You were watching the 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 zoom technology, but check it out. This is what it looked like for. for... You better mute that. Reinstall this, and it should be 4K. Oh, well, that's like the most Ks you can get, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of Ks. Hmm. Uh, okay, that does. Yeah. I, I yeah. admit that doesn't look horrible. So, uh, I, yeah, I, um, I was talking about this Helldivers game, what I, I wanted to play it, but then uh, Tim... Oh, oh, three. There we go. But Tim was like... So where do you uh, think you are? Mini, minor, major, or mega? Uh, I think we got the... the shitty shitty, shitty, shitty from here. And then Tim was like, let's go out, let's go out, let's go out. He, he was bugging me to go out since fucking Wednesday. I think Tim has been looking for a drinking buddy for years. And he finally, <laughs> finally found one. Yeah, it was, it was like Wednesday, hey, let's go drinking. And then Thursday, hey, when was it drinking? Friday, hey, let's go drinking. And then Saturday, like, ah, hey, Saturday, let's go drinking. And like, ah, oh, I didn't have the heart to say it. I wasn't really feeling it. Oh, look, I think if we hit one more shark, we got X2. Oh. There's one more fucking shark. No, not those stupid fucking fish. Of course, we're not going to get it. No, we still got one more spin to go. Alright, well it's only one X, but we got one X times one! Oh, oh. fucking euro! Oh. Okay, this game and this game is giving us fuck. Fuck that! This game's over. Yeah. Let's let's play the cursed king. Okay. Alright, so uh members of the chat that have been watching us for a while may have noticed that the banana man, my, my counterpart here, has been getting well during the Christmas break, he got a little um shall we say mushy. A little punchy. <laughs> Uh, you know, wide through the thighs, <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> that, that's, uh, uh, but you have you have started a new uh, a new program of, of diet and exercise, have you not? Yes, yes. And that is why you will see at the bottom of your screen, like over, about there, over here, next to the next to the here, logo. Yeah, you'll see uh, a, a little chunky banana at uh, ninety seven kilograms. And uh, so your goal is to uh, to lose some weight and yes. get back in shape and not be uh, discussing with you crap. Yes. Yes. Okay. If you put it so uh, carefully. Oh shit. We got a... Three spins already! Yeah. Okay. 
okay. The thing is, what, when we get one of those uh, thingies here, uh, we get more spins. I yeah, think. I don't. 50 next. Okay, so that's 15 oh. times a buck 50. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, that's shit all. Alright, so we got fuck all, right? Okay, that's something. That's not nothing! Right. Dog shit. 27 fuck all bucks. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, uh, what is your what is your goal and what is your plan to achieve? Say? My goal is eighty. To lose seventeen kilos. Yes. Well, really? Yes. Oh. And, well, how are you planning on achieving that? Well, for 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 once, actually going to the fucking gym. All right. And uh, you you've been a member of the gym for how many weeks? Uh. I think it was the last week of December. All right, so you've been a member there for almost two months. And how many times have you gone? Three. <laughs> You're halfway <laughs> there. Jeez. That's why I'm saying I'm going to start going. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, diet-wise, uh, just not eating so much fucking junk. All right, and so what, what's on your... What was your diet today? Uh, well, I, I eat a veggie... Um, it's not like pasta, but it's a filled pasta thingies. Yeah. And so like a tortellini or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, filled with vegetables, okay. Yeah, and uh, one sandwich. Like spinach and cheese? Or just spinach? Yeah, no, there was no cheese, like tomatoes. tomatoes oh, okay. Stuff. Sounds grotesque, but it probably will get the job done. Yeah. And one sandwich. Okay, and what was on the sandwich? Uh, cheese and ham. Well, okay, well, except for the ham and the cheese, you're, you're a good <laughs> And uh, that's it. Uh, okay. That's what I had to say. All right. So, and but you're still at 97. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, it, it has a date because we got to know a starting date. It's got a 20th of December, uh, February. So it's I it started two days ago. All right. And how's your cardio program? Uh, well, back in the day, I used to do cardio after lifting, but I haven't done any uh, so far. All right. Well, if you want, uh, we do have wrestling training on Mondays. And usually boxing training on uh, Thursdays or Fridays, so you can all feel free to jump in on that. Great cardio. Well, it's a wrestling training uh, over at the school. Yeah, uh, wrestling training is over in uh, Neukölln, and uh, the boxing is down in uh, is down in Schönebeide. But the boxing club is taking a break because uh, Ferdinand, our coach, who is the number one rated uh, welterweight in the country, has a fight against the number one. Walter Wade from like Nambia. Yeah, like that's in a March, right? Yeah, coming in March. So it's on March 23rd. I think I'm going to be the ring girl. And um, <laughs> so in between there, there's not as much. He, he doesn't have time to train us. So, but after that, the club. Yeah, back I mean, let, let me get. Uh, if you like it, getting, if you like training, and getting punched in the face. Oh, what about you? Can't, the, you can't ask for anything more. It sounds awesome. Let me get back in shape a little bit. But, uh, All right, do we have any ice cubes around? Uh, oh, let me get. All right, so joining us in the uh, second hour for the news will be a former German Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion of the world, Tarkin Aslan. And uh, presumably, uh, also joining us will be uh, cam girl Kat Cox, who you uh, probably have seen on the flyers in the event that she doesn't show up, because cam girls are not necessarily that, uh, that reliable. Um, we also have a, a backup uh, a plan that I think you'll quite enjoy. And then follow, directly following the stream at 10 o'clock Central European time, uh, we will be uh, leaving here to join a uh, Twitter Spaces. No, no, it's gonna it's gonna keep on. Oh, we're gonna stay on here. Yeah. And gamble? No. Uh, we're gonna have. Let me let me show you real quick. Okay. Yeah, we can. You have this thing here. Check it out. Uh huh. It's gonna look like this. Oh, okay. And Twitter and her, uh, the voices are gonna be all here. Oh. So we're gonna stay in here. Uh, it's gonna be from 10 forward. It's gonna be on. Can we keep losing money? No, we're not gonna game it. It's still gonna be that. I mean, what's the point? We could win. Ha! <laughs> I mean, people are tuning in for gambling. <laughs> That's why we're gambling right no, now. And then uh, we, 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 not we, to hear old tour stories. We, we're gonna game. gamble two hours and then we're gonna talk shit for another two hours. You know, I don't. I wouldn't be too shocked. If the cam girl doesn't show up, because A, cam girl notoriously unreliable. B, have you noticed living in Germany that, you know, out in the real world, 
Germany is the stereotype of Germans are that they are efficient and punctual. Oh, did you report the story? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Efficiency, punctuality. Uh, That's a myth. Yeah, no shit. You're, 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 because like anytime I have a business meeting with Germans, ninety nine percent of the time I'm the first one there. Like they show up 20, 30 minutes later. I mean, I mean maybe it's because it's in the music industry, but I mean so they're still fucking Germans, you know. And what I think the rest of the world doesn't know about is Germany's dirty little secret, the Deutsche Bahn, because that fucking thing is <laughs> never on. Time. It's, it's not a, it's it's never it's on not time. a dirty little secret anymore. It's uh, it's common knows. common knowledge. But I mean, according to Tucker Carlson, in Moscow, the trains run on time. Really? Yes. Yeah, you know why? Because if not, the conductor gets shot. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if anybody says they don't run on time, they get killed. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if somebody so they, they, so much as appears on social media and mentions anything wrong with Russia, they're dead. Yeah, I mean, the, the German, Deutsche Bahn, and trains. What what bothers me the most is they're like uh, you're you're sitting in the train. It was last time we, we, the train was shitting the bed again, and they the 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 voiceover. The conductor or whatever was like, oh, you know what? Uh, we're not gonna make it. In fact, we're gonna be late, like two hours. Ha <laughs> ha! And he was like, like, running That's jokes. Yeah, make, making jokes. And then I look around, and like nobody was complaining. Nobody, nobody as much as said, ah, oh, you know, at least something. I, I, I they saw, didn't even make an exasperated I saw, I, sound. I saw no reaction. No exasperated groups. That, that means it's fucking normal. It's like, uh, yeah, I mean, in, in fact, people were counting on on it. Um, because they expect the they expect, they expect Bond to shit the bed. Yeah, and uh, and I was like, what? I mean, you know what? It was on the way for that festival for for Parukaville. Really? And uh, yeah. Oh, you you were already there. I came after. And uh, no, no, because no, I flew this year. Yeah. Because like last year, you know, my kid's mom, Cena, you know, who's been on the show with us, you know, she's like, you know, all like. Uh, environmental hippie-ish and shit. And she's like, Yo, you know, you know, whenever you whenever you fly, you know, it causes this much CO2, carbon dioxide footprint, and destroys she, your She really so, said it to you. Yeah, and I'm like... She knows that Taylor Swift flies to get the fucking carton of milk. Exactly, and also, you know, I'm a fucking end-level consumer. I'm not the CEO of TWA, you know? Yeah, I mean... Did, did you know how many private jets flew from the Super Bowl from uh, Las Vegas out? After the Super Bowl was like over 200. Yeah, and probably jets. to Los Angeles. That's an 18 minute flight. Yeah. You know? I mean, and we are here sucking fucking paper straws, uh, Capri Suns. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> so, you know, sucker that I am, I'm like, all right, you know what? I will take the train this one time. You know, it's, it, it's, you know, it's like four, four or five hours as opposed to like 45 minutes with the plane. But, you know, I'll make it happen. Hey, you know, so me and, uh, me and Sven are sitting on the, the train and we get to, I don't know, Hanover or something. And, you know, this is the direct train from Berlin to you know, Dusseldorf. Or yeah, Berlin. okay. And then there's this, oh yeah, this train stops here. I'm like, no it doesn't. And then, then we're like, you know, we're like 100 miles from Berlin. Like, oh yeah, don't worry, there's another train behind us that, that goes there. Like, okay. What I didn't realize, what the train behind us doesn't go straight from Hanover to, to Dusseldorf. It goes from Hanover to Bielefeld to Munich to Frankfurt to Berlin to Bielefeld to Hanover again, to Sarli, and then like nine fucking hours later, we finally get we finally get to Perukaville in the middle of the fucking night. And I'm like, never again. I mean, ah, fuck that. If, that's if, it. If, if you fuck can, the Deutsche Bahn. I'm if, like, you can fly, if you can fly somewhere, just fly. It's and not, not only that, matter. it's cheaper. It's actually cheaper to fly than it is to take the train now. Yeah, I mean, whatever you save. Uh, on whatever car, uh, carbon, uh, 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 carbon footprint. Hey, check it out. Some party people with Tim. Oh, some party people. Yeah. Oh, uh, we already got uh, two dates. We can uh, have the marathon on. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's see how many people we're gonna get for that. Very uh, nice. Very nice. So I've got some uh, some ideas about that. Yeah. So uh, it all depends on when Krogi can come in town. Because Krogi is coming over here, we're gonna have the entire house wide for sound. We're gonna have a band. We're gonna have drum offs. We're gonna have beer pong. There should be all kinds. Of, I think we should have cook, we should set it up in the kitchen so we do a cooking shit. Oh yeah. Because we're not gonna be able to leave. So we had some cooks over here to cook food for us. And ah, you know should... who can cook? Uh, uh, Specky. He had a cooking show. Oh, yeah. Is he on the list? Not yet. I mean, we haven't put anyone on the list. We, oh, we... Your list. I mean, my list has a shitload of people. Yeah, put it on, on the online list. I sent right, you the right, link. All right. Well, I'm too lazy for that. 
<laughs> and boomerish. Um, what were we talking about? We we're talking about the uh, the party. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And um, so yeah, there, there are two dates: one in um, March and one in April. What 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 are the? Do you know the dates? Yeah, let me. Uh... Okay, it's the fourth of April. That's oh, the that's the no, sixth. The sixth. The sixth. Oh, dude, I need glasses. No. Uh, or the fourth of May. And the fourth of May, we could okay, party neither over. One, neither one of those comes into. Uh, neither one of those occurs in March. Oh yeah, well, I uh, forget March, but uh, I mean, we could go into the Cinco de Mayo in May. Yeah, that might not be bad because the, the Berlin Strength is having a uh, party on uh, the gym. Is having a party on the. Uh, see, I don't know if people have six of eight. Now that you're like a fitness guy. Why, why are we competing with the gym? I mean, uh... No, well, maybe there's some crossover between our fans. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we have many uh, fitness fans over here. We eat fucking we nachos might, all the time. We might if you get in shape. <laughs> when do we eat nachos? We, we, it's been like twice. And we only eat nachos. Oh, the sound is a bit loud. Just let me see. Better? Tim, we good? We want to jack shit. All right, check us out. Oh, so you know what is what happened in, in uh, Germany on Sunday? Uh, what? Is they are voting to make cannabis legal here. Really? And once cannabis is legal and you can legally sell cannabis, you're allowed to like start making some clubs. So I think I'm going to start a cannabis club. Really? <laughs> you don't even smoke weed. Well, I haven't smoking weed since <laughs> high school, but you know, thinking about getting back into it. It's legal now. You know, I can't get any trouble. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, thanks. thanks, Daddy. Thank you for the sub. But Vixen, our good friend from uh, Cape Town. Yes, South Africa. You got fans all over. Yes. Um, so really, they're gonna vote to make. I, I thought. I thought they were gonna, and then they kind of fucked it up, and then it wasn't legal anymore. It's like a new vote. They're, they're voting on it on Sunday. That's all I know. Look at you. Gonna be high. And... Yeah. Well, you know, I, I got this guy who says, uh, like, in order for them to be able to sell it, you can't sell weed from like Amsterdam or anything. You know, you have to. Uh, you it has to be grown in Germany. So we have this guy that's growing a grower in Germany that's gonna get us all the weed, and it's gonna be like super like red hair. So <laughs> it'll be like being in high school again. Damn. You know, and. Um, like, apparently only, like, you can only get the buds. Like, all the shit in America that you can go, like, it, it's been legal in America for, like, in some states, like, 10 years. Yeah. I remember, like, when we're going on our skiing vacations to Vermont, we drive over to, to, uh... Oh, look at that shit! Oh! Oh! 100! 100! Hey, 100. 100. 100. 100. Oh! Oh! Hey! Yeah, but that's good, but that's not, get, that's not getting anything for the it's not. It's not over yet. We're still in the bonus round. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on, give it to us, give it to us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get some, get some! All right, all right, all right, all right. Up to 140. Come on, come on, biatch! Ah, fuck off. One more chance. Nope. 10 fucking cents. Ah. But anyhow, that brings us up above parity at least. Yeah, I mean, oh! Over 2,000. Oh, we, we, we are officially in profit. Uh, hey, Bud Vixen knows uh, Senku. Oh, cool. No way, Senku, you legend. Oh, look at look at Tim. He has fans all over. Yeah. So, um... Tim might be more famous than you over uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the Twitch space. I think he is. I mean, we, we have, what, like, like, how many viewers? Oh, ten viewers. I think that's a record for us. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so you go over to Massachusetts, right? And then you can buy, like, you go to the dispensary there, and not only... The dispensary have like the buds that you can buy like in the little baggies, but you can buy gummies there. You can buy like beer with pot in it. You oh. can buy ice cream with pot in it. I got the ice cream with pot in it because I'm like, you know, okay, this, okay, this is gonna be like you know, delicious, and you know, because like the gummies they don't taste like pot. 
Like the gummies just taste like, you know, gummies, but they get yeah. hot. So I figured like they can do this, they can use apply that same technology to ice cream. So, you know, we take the ice cream home, we're like, okay, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna eat ice cream and it's gonna get us high. And we go, and dude, it fucking tastes like an ash. <laughs> it tastes like yeah, shit. Yeah, it tastes like eating a bird, like licking out a, a used bowl. Yeah. You know? It's like ah, <laughs> so, but I mean, let me. I just noticed that we've seen the fucking open door over there. Let's, let's see that better. So what? Yeah. yeah. So okay. anyhow, so uh, like once the buds are legal, then I'm gonna look into the technology to make gummies and shit. And, uh, and look at you, Heisenberg. Yes. And <laughs> I think who better to do that? Maybe, you know, we used we're gonna, to we, we're going to cover all the vices. Yes. You know, gambling, uh, pornography, uh, the drugs. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, and I, I don't think they have like um, like uh, CBD and THC vapes over here. I mean, not legal. But oh, what, no, they, they kind of do. Uh, Jolie is working for a company that does Yeah, that. but once it's legal, the, then we're good. Oh, and uh, this dude got in touch with me about Jolie, who uh, hopefully will soon be our employee. And it's the guy that used to be the boss at Viva. You remember that, the like the, the MTV competitor yeah. that was eventually bought by MTV? And uh, he was with me in Indonesia when I was filming that uh, show over there. Okay. And he wants to do a show on porn. He asked personally for Jolie. A show on, on what? On, on, on porno. Like what? I don't know, like a documentary on uh, the evolution of porn or whatever. Really? Yeah. Nice. So, Jolie may be a big television star. Excellent. Let's get her. Let's get her the chick. Yes. And speaking of big television stars, because I don't, I got a pretty good idea that this porn star is not going to show up today because um, she. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, forty-two minutes in the show, she hasn't even written me. Yeah. Sorry, guys. If you're watching and waiting for Kate Cox, she kind of stood us up. Yeah. So I don't think that. I mean, they really stood us up because she said she might not make it, but. Uh, I mean. But in anywho, uh, so we have we still have all this. She should shit. have at least told us like I'm not going to be there. But we still have all this shit. That's kind of my fault because I told her, you know, just if you can make it, make it. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you remember when um, my manager kept bugging our corporate overlord here about, like, some sponsorship he wanted to do? Yeah, he kept asking, asking, over asking, over asking, asking. He cleared the deal. But, yeah. I mean, you know, I'll throw it out there. If she wants to show up here, come on over. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, if you don't jump, she doesn't show up. You know, but we have all this shit uh, so we can do whatever we have planned for this. And I have a guest lined up for two weeks from now. Uh, you remember uh, Jazzy Gabbert, the uh, the pro wrestler? Yes. She was in the World Wrestling Federation? Yes. WWE? Yes, she uh, will be joining us in two weeks. And being uh, that she is a wrestler and not a cam girl, she is reliable. Oh. So in two weeks, I'm going to leave that board lined up. And uh, I got an idea of, of how to use that board okay. today, but still leave all our crap on it. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, she'll be joining us uh, just in, in case uh, Cat Cox doesn't show up. I'm sure. You're fine. You're I'm fine sure that else. Jazzy will pick up the slack, and she is the star of a new a documentary on like RTL Plus or, or, or something. With Tarkin is also the star, so there are really? about to be major television. They, they, stars. they put Tarkin into the show. Yeah, it, it, it might even be prime time. What? Huh? Everybody, every, everybody's getting a TV show, and the Banana Man it, it doesn't. What's going on? I mean, you're more like internet level entertaining, <laughs> you know. Hey, nowadays that's the, that's a new uh, medium. Internet is, yeah, is 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 the new medium. You know, like television isn't even television anymore. You know, I got I switched um, I switched providers, right? For cable for TV? TV and cable, yeah. yeah. And this week they showed up with the thing. Like you know how you used to, for like for years since cable started. Like, you had to have that box. Yeah. Like, since, like, whenever cable started. And then you had, like, direct TV. In America, TV it was, like, like 1979. Part. It started over here, I don't know, like, five years ago? Probably. <laughs> yeah. So, you always had to have that box. I remember, like, when it started out, like, I go to my cousin's house, and they, like, had, like, a little slider. That, like, you know, it wasn't even remote. It was, like, I mean, it was remote, but it wasn't, like, wireless. It was, like, a wire, like a telephone cord. And then you had a box, and it had, like, 30 channels, and you had a slider. Dude, what, when were you, like, a kid in the 50s? They didn't have cable TV in the 50s, asshole. <laughs> this is probably like 1981, I want to say. Like when cable first came out. Okay, well, that's when, when I was born. Like I think MTV was launched in like 1982 or 1983. But... When radio could... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's weird that you have... Radio, radio it's weird that you're not that old, but you still have the technical skills of a boomer. <laughs> but anyhow, like, you have had a box. 
Yeah. Up, and, up from then until now to get cable. And the guy comes over and hooks it up, and he's like, like here's the cable box, but you know, you got to rent this for five bucks a month. Or, you know, there's just an app you can put on your Fire Stick, and that replaces the box. So now, like, TV is just an app. Like, my regular cable TV, like, you go to the Fire Stick, and, like, the new TV I have has it, like, built into the TV. You just go to this app, and then it, like, gives you the, your channel list on there, and then you can watch regular TV. Like, the last time you were able to watch regular TV without a box was, like, in the 70s in America. That's, like, five years uh, ago. I mean, I, I don't care about regular TV. I only got... But, y you know, you pay... The, I, I got... By now, I had... I have Netflix. I got Disney Plus, Prime Video, Paramount Plus, Three Fish Spins. Crunchy, Crunchy something. What's Crunchy something? Oh, that's for cartoons. Oh. <laughs> so I pay. A, what? The most expensive one is Netflix with about fifteen bucks. The cheapest one is this cartoon app, like five bucks, and then uh, Paramount Plus is like six bucks. But altogether, it's uh, over fifty bucks. For TV. Yeah, but 50 bucks. But you remember, like, I remember when I canceled TV in America, it was like, cable was like 200 bucks. Really? Yeah, like, if you wanted HBO. Damn. And I'm like, I'm not fucking, like, why am I fucking paying $2,400 a month for fucking TV? So then I'm like, get rid of the fucking cable. And then, you know, we just got, like, back then you get, like, Bob Dro and C Cloud and all that illegal uh, shit. I remember it was like the same in northern Mexico. And then, uh, well, obviously nobody had, uh, like, HBO. But uh, you can see some porn channels where they like I got distorted yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, like green boobs <laughs> and shit. I don't watch that. <laughs> and like jerking off like in. Like, well, like, uh, yeah. you, like you remember, you remember when they came out like when they didn't have it over here, but in America you had the uh, the Directv football cards. I think even before the football. Cards. They had it in Mexico, like, so I know. Like, well, I know this was when we were on tour, so this had to be like late '90s, early 2000s, right? We would. Um, we were on tour, and like they had the 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 track vision satellites on yeah. the buses, oh. and like the bus drivers were like, hey, watch this, and then like you know they'd fuck around with the card and they put it in there, and then it would have every channel. Yeah, I know that. All the porno yeah. channels, all the pay per views, every fucking channel. And I'm like, this is fucking amazing. How do you do it? And I finally got like our bus driver to show me how to do it, and like you know you had to buy like this glitcher, yeah, and then you and it ran off a serial port or parallel port. I mean that's yeah. how old, that's how long ago. It was before anybody had ever considered a USB thing. And then you put the card in there, and then you could like hack into it, and then you could open up all the fucking channels. Yeah. And you had to like redo it every couple of weeks, but then you had every fucking channel, and it was for free. A cousin of mine used to do that and charge people money. So right, 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 yeah. I mean, I would never charge people money for it. I would just do it for free. But, you know, the cable companies, like Comcast and shit, is making so much fucking money. Like, that should be, that should be the part that's criminal. I mean... I know I sound like a fucking hippie now, but <laughs> that should be the part that's criminal, you know? <laughs> Not the fucking, you know, and, and you know, Prime Video, George, I mean, Jeff Bezos has the amount of money right now. You know how long it would take a person working, like the average, the average income in America is like 40,000 bucks a year. Yeah. You know how many years you would have to work that to earn the amount of money that Jeff Bezos is sitting on? Five million years. Exactly. Yeah. Five million I just, years. I was just guessing. Five million years. The fuck? Which, I mean, makes But, I mean, there have only been people living in America for, like, 20,000 years. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think my kid's mom sent me that, uh, that stat. Oh. <laughs> Follow our social stupid adventures over social media. Type I... Oh, wait. That, is that us? It, it's like a... Oh, that, oh, our, that's, our that's our bot. That's our bot. It's a bot. So people I can know... someone wanted us to do that. Look, check it out. I mean, if you type uh, exclamation... Uh, yes. It takes you to it takes you to an ad. There you go. Yes. How's that for a boomer? Wow. Huh? Crazy. <laughs> so anyhow, um, <laughs> yeah. So like the the fact that somebody like that they charge for Prime Video, like like some guy that's got more money than anybody can spend in five million years, like you don't feel bad about stealing Prime Video from him. Like in Directv. You don't feel bad about ripping those co companies off. So when you know you find out Comcast is making like three billion dollars profit a year, you didn't feel bad about like not giving the money, giving two, another two hundred bucks a month for cable, and just you know using Mobdro or uh, what was the ones like C Cloud and stuff. You remember yeah, those, yeah. Those, those apps? I don't know if those are still around, but 
the fact that now you can watch everything you want for 50 bucks a month instead of 200 bucks a month, I think is just like people. Oh, but. I guess uh, like, like a blowback from so much corporate greed. But you forget, you know? in Germany, you have to pay about 18 bucks a month regardless if you watch uh, TV or not. No, no, yeah, even if you don't have a TV. Even if you don't have a TV and, you know, or you radio. You know what that is for? That's for ZDF and, and AFD. But ARD? Yeah. It's so, for two channels that people, like, nobody even our age watches them. Those are TV's channels for, like, people that are 80 and above. Can you imagine? There's nothing on that. Like, you, you're you held hostage to pay 18 fucking bucks a month it, it, Like, everybody has to pay it. Every fucking household. Oh. Can you imagine if that Netflix comes around and said, like, every household has to have a Netflix subscri subscription? Otherwise, you go to fucking jail. Yes, another reason why I will be anchoring this com company as, country as soon as possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and then and the thing is, you know, uh, you pay like for HBO or like Netflix, you got like uh, The Sopranos, no, you got, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Breaking Bad. But I mean, you have shows Germany, you would actually want to watch. And in Germany, you get fucking Tatort uh, since 20 years. Or, or, you know, Alarm for Cobra 11. Like, who yeah. the fuck watches those Nobody. shows? They, I mean, they get a like, shitload of money. And they produce utter dog shit. I mean, no offense to Germany, but like when it comes to making TV, America's up here. You know, America's coming through with Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Sopranos, the first two seasons. Well, not, the, so, not the, so into that. But the I mean, Wire. Like, yeah, but I mean, like all the Star Star Treks, even the crappy ones, all coming out of America. All those Star Wars TVs, all coming out of America. So then after that, you know, you got England. Oh. You know, England makes some okay stuff. Then you know, I, I think then. Australia makes some, okay. And then, down here, you got the rest of the fucking world. I mean, no offense, but I mean, you are making garbage TV. I mean, if Germany comes up with the next Game of Thrones, you know, fucking awesome. Yeah. You know I mean, I know what Germany's going to come up with. I don't know what they're going to another, another season of Bauer and Soup Frau, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is... Sam Allen, I would agree with you that Disney Plus is the best. Except, like, all those fucking Marvels movies and shit, they're horrible. Yeah, Marvels suck now. Yeah. Although I do see they've come up with a whole line of Captain Marvel porn. Which is really? Yeah, the chick they have that, that, that plays Captain Marvel looks almost exactly like Brie Larson. But huge tits. Oh. Shit, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some research. Yeah. All right, so, uh, stick, with, stick around. Uh, it looks like... Our sports expert, Tarkin Aslan, has shown up. Uh, I'm guessing our guest, uh, Cat Cox, will not be showing up, so, which is not, not bad, necessarily, because I do have a backup plan. Uh, you do? Tarkin is here. Yes, yes, I have a backup uh, challenge for us. And uh, since this challenge is only going to be for you, I think uh, this will make you happy that now I get to play along, too. Oh. <laughs> All right? So uh, we'll get into that after the news. Um... Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see. So let me see. We'll start the news as soon as uh, talking gets up. Okay, let me just see if she's written, but I don't think so. Let's see who's here. Oh, it is not Cat Cox. No, it is, however, almost as good. It is the former German Rescue Federation heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen. A man who needs no introduction! And he's not gonna get one! <laughs> that sorry, bro? <laughs> it's that! Oh, it's oh yeah. Here. So, like, surprisingly... Is that, my, is that me doing this? Surprisingly, our uh, our cam girl did not show up. Oh. No. Yeah, ask Ken Santa feels like me? Ooh. Uh, no. Shame, you, you don't have cat calls and hisses and stuff. But, on the plus side, uh, you so are... So you got uh, catfished, I guess, from Cat Cox. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, you, 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 no, I mean, you, certainly, it's the first time I've been catfished. <laughs> well, well, <I'm> <laughs> so I have seen that Tarkin, our, our sports expert, is I'm now a major TV star. A major TV star. Yes, you are starring on RTL. What RTL six? Um, RTL. Kind of Yes. RTL eight. El ocho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. There's some sort of wrestling show coming up <laughs> starring uh, Jazzy Gabbard uh, yeah, and, uh, as well as Tarkin Aslan. Oh. And that is why, in two weeks, our special guest on the show will be Jazzy Gabbard. It'll be Jazzy. Did yeah. you invite her or not? Probably you. Uh, I mentioned it, and then probably she tried to hit on you again, and then. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Well, fair enough. 
You're, making, uh, you're, you're, guest, you're on her to-do list? Well, <laughs> let's not get into all that. But in any case, well, our guest next... tell them this story. You our know guest how that ne- works out. Our guest <laughs> next week is going to be... Uh, who's Ollie. the guest this week? Ollie. Uh, this dude Ollie? Yes. Which, which, which guy Ollie? Uh, he makes, like, trading, uh, cards. trading cards. Like so he can, like he's there's an evil Jared trading card. Is there a Tarkin trading yes. card? Really? So there yes. might be a Banana Man trading card showing up here. Next he week. makes them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. legit one, like like yeah. the the regular ones. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they look like the the, the Carl Yastrzemski card with the big sideburns. Damn. Yeah. yeah they're pretty good. pretty cool. Yes. So anyhow, uh, now that we're almost in the second, uh, actually we don't have to we don't have to rush because the challenge we're doing isn't going to take that long. Like the the one I had planned for Cat Cox, which now we'll be getting pushed off. On to uh, Jazzy. I'm gonna eat those Oreos. No, I can't because I'm now. Uh... But this is gonna go bad. So you can eat this. Okay. You can eat this. Are you on diet? Yeah. Look at look at that shit. I put even my weight right there with a fat banana. <gasps> should I help you? Like 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 making you? I know exactly how to help him. We should have the banana man, and this is be fitting for one week. Only be able to eat bananas. No, he doesn't help us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I... No. Imagine how much like. <laughs> Yeah, do you ever eat one day just bananas? You shit so much. Imagine no, you could probably lose seventy kilos in one week. Banana holds up your shit. So uh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. then when you go, it's like an explosion. No, 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 no. Because if you'll you, probably launch up to the next floor. When, when I was an Avon soldier, like like and we was like out in, in the woods or something like that, they told us stuff that holds up your shit. So that you you know. Oh, so they didn't have to shit in the in the in the no, foxhole. There is no foxhole. Yeah, shitting in the woods is a good time. Yeah. <laughs> but besides that, should I help you out with a nutrition plan or something? Like that? Yeah. I told him he should show up for wrestling training on Mondays. Well, actually, it's, isn't it Mondays and Thursdays now? No, yeah, you can't do it. You, yeah, actually, you can't do it because it's... He already has right gym. Now. He already has gym scene, right? Going yeah, on. I have so, a gym. So, but the most yeah. important thing... Like, is, I've known tons of people that have gym memberships that they'll go, as he does, for like three days in January, pay for the rest of the year, and yeah, then never show up. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um... Let, let us do this uh, gym scene, but the most important thing is like the nutrition. Like, if you want to lose weight, nutrition is everything. Yes, if you want to build abs, abs are built in the kitchen, not in the gym. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, let me... Oh, but I got questions, like for the quiz. So what is then the... Well, I got an idea what we can do. If, if you don't have like... No, 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 we got, we got a backup plan. What is the backup plan? Well, let's get to that after we get to the news. We didn't... Already done with the MAGA news? No, not even started. We're, not, we're only in the first hour. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right. You, you, you want to come after the in MAGA news, right? <laughs> you, you, you want to come after the MAGA news. He wants to time it. Hey, I, he, I, told yeah. me he want to come after the MAGA I, I, news. I can't escape it. I got to be here from the start. There's yeah. not there's not that much MAGA news. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, so bring us in. But but but. Oh, send him. Oh, send him. Better get a beer pump to you. What? What is the pedigree on the beer pump to you? Pedigree? That's a you, Triple H's finisher. You will figure it out. Yeah. Oh, when you like uh, jump on the table? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, hey, uh, you'll figure that on the charity stream. Hey, Sam, if you want to, uh, like, like we can do, like, like uh, speaking about wrestling for one whole stream. I mean, he is Mexican, he's American, myself. Well, yeah, I mean, me. we are I'm out. There wrestling. is no more NFL news until the draft, at least. But I got new sports. Well, okay. And when we coming up to the sports? What Mexican team? chicken fights? Well, something better. Something oh, better. something better? All right. Well, in any case, let's jump into the news. Okay, so, um, as you know, we're not allowed to do our ghoul pool, but there are some very notable deaths this really? week. Uh, well, starting with uh, Alexi yeah, Navalny. Do you get, like, a newsletter or something? Uh, yeah. you, you, you well, I mean, Alexi Navalny was in all that. Okay, right? then. He's probably getting just, that. Like, that like, wasn't just big news in Moscow. I mean, think that was everybody. everybody knew yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, like, Who's the, that? The main, uh, the main, the main opponent to, uh, to, uh, Russian strongman Vladimir Putin was Alexei Navalny. He was oh, yeah, the only yeah, 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 opposition yeah, yeah, yeah. politician. And he They're mysteriously Minnesota. turned up dead in his prison cell. What a, what a mystery. Yes. Can you can you imagine can you imagine like all this this conspiracy motherfuckers who think like like Germany is like a dictation or something like that and you're looking over to Russia and it is legit a dictation. Yeah, but I mean like it's so weird that like somehow all of his opponents such as uh, Alexander Litvinenko and uh, you know Yuri Prigozhin yeah. from the Wagner Group, just mysteriously end up dead. That, like and that there are American politicians who think this is fine. Like they are completely yeah. in fealty to the Russian regime. They think that's great. It, it, I mean, realizing 
that Americans are voting for them to turn America into a place where shit like that happens. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, like people running around, like, and yeah, you, Russia, what a great you, system. You can't yeah. say anything anymore. Like, no, you can't, because otherwise you would live in Russia. Yeah, you want to talk about woke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so he, uh, unfortunately, uh, Alexander Navalny, yeah, unfortunately, uh, mysteriously dead. dead. He, uh, he also, he abstained himself. Also, uh, Caddy Lynn Carter. Do you know who that is? No, I do. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Porn star Katie Lynn Carter. He died. Did he died. Yes. Really? I yeah. I don't think I have any picture of her, but like I thought. I mean, I know the name. Uh, give us another hundred here. I knew the name, but I figured, you know, it must be from when I was doing uh, those reviews for Hustler Erotic Video, which I used to do reviews for back in like when I lived in LA. So it was like early 2000s. Then I realized that like this chick was only like 36 years old, so it can't have been then, because. Like she would have only been ten years old. What? What? Unless what? Lynn what, 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 what? Carter. Lynn Carter. That's her. Well, you cannot show any of these. You can show that one. Probably this one. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. So, uh, can we rewatch her greatest hits here right now and <laughs> uh, do a reaction on it? Well, you you have to Google it. I don't want to risk this shit. Yeah, but anyhow, so so she's dead. So, you know, very sad, very sad, and uh, like it was a suicide, it wasn't like a, really? yeah. it wasn't like most deaths in America these days about a fentanyl overdose, uh, you know, apparently, you know, you would think doing a job that you love every day. Maybe she would, didn't, you know, yeah. it's uh, porn, it's a hard business. Yeah, yeah. You know, you never, you never think about it, you know, I wonder how many streamers killed themselves. <laughs> this is, there were a couple. I don't see people loving this job. <laughs> there were a couple, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, people got all sorts of problems. All right, uh, Tony Genios. I think I have a picture of him. You may not know the name, but boomers like me will recognize the uh, the picture. Where is he? Yeah, that, 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 that. This guy. Like the guy in the blue shirt there? Yeah. You recognize him? No. All right, well, bring over this. this. Then. I'm sure you'll recognize oh, this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yes, yes the, great, the great movie Porky's from uh, the early 80s, also starring uh, Alex Karras from Webster. Uh, the guy that played Meat was, uh, his name was Tony Ganios, and he apparently also has died. You know that Porky's got remade in like almost every fucking country. Because I, I know there's a Mexican Porky and there's a German Porky. Yeah, I, mean, I remember watching that as a kid and thinking, oh, this movie's fucking great. Like, yeah, all, and, all the Porky's movies, I think. And like every, in every country decided like, ah, yeah, let's do a Porky's movie. But I mean, like, imagine the, the, the envi social environment you can that you were able to get away with making movies like yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the 80s were great. The golden times. Yeah, I mean, you're not getting away with anything like that now. You know, when, when every time we have, like, a show and I want to put girls in bikinis and shit and something sexy, and, like, uh, not, not even doing it, and I tell, like, female friends about it, hey, look at this, I got, like, like an Evil Jared bikini. And they're like, oh, Muta, you're so sexist. Yes, like, you, you gotta be totally hey. woke and you gotta be, you gotta be totally inclusive and, like, I don't know if you watch the new Star Trek, but every single person has to be, like, a black lesbian or with a, with a, missing a leg or something. Like, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's too much, but they're, they're, they're... To be fair, to be fair, he's a totally sexist. Yeah, he is totally sexist. I mean, I mean he would've been great. You would've loved the 80s. Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> but, I mean, I, would, I, I, I loved... I would have loved to be like a beer company executive for marketing. Yeah, I mean, you know? get away with anything back then. You know? I would like put straight up put cocaine in, in, in beer. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, next up. Do you know that Captain Morgan's has come up with an alcohol-free Captain Morgan's? I saw why? that. No, but why? Why the fuck would you come up with an alcohol-free alcohol? Yeah, that's, that does make... Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not tasting... I'm not drinking Captain Morgan's because I think it improves the taste. Of Coca Cola. That's the same with yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have. Like, give me a Captain and Coke with no Captain in it. Yeah. Yeah, you mean a Coke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like a slightly different tasting Coke. Like, I guess yeah. if you like the taste of beer, then yeah, I guess alcohol free beer makes it. Never made any sense. Never no, made any fucking sense to me. I only like, I mean, like, when you first taste beer, you're not like, oh man, like, you know, you're 10 years old, you drink it, like, you're not like, oh, yeah, well, this is the most. Yes, man. Where have you been all my fucking life? Yeah, it tastes like no, it's, Yeah, it tastes like horrible. But then once your mind starts to equate that taste, with the feeling of getting drunk, yeah. then it's delicious. Yeah, it's, it's like conditioning. You know, the same thing with Captain Morgan's, but you're not drinking Captain Morgan's because, oh my God, this rubbing alcohol is so fucking delicious. <laughs> can you imagine you going on a party and asking for alcohol-free like, alcohol? It doesn't oh. make any sense. <laughs> and can you imagine going to a bar and be like, hey, can I have a $10 shot of alcohol-free? Damn. Yeah. Give me a double Captain one. Morgan? Give me a double one. <laughs> well, yeah, like, who, who is the, who's the market for this? 
you're, you're not drinking in a bar. You're certainly sure as fuck not drinking at a party. You're not drinking at home. Where, where would you drink? Ca maybe maybe it was like AI, you know? Oh yes. You know? Oh, well, uh, uh, there, there was like a was like a funny tweet or something that um, apparently on Facebook, you know that in Facebook oh, is full of fucking boomers. Huh. You can't chew gum and, and, and do the news at the same time. Yeah, you kind of like chewing into, never, the mic, into, had, into the mic. Like you'll learn this now that you're becoming a major TV star. When I had my show, like one thing you were never, not allowed to do is ever chew gum or wear sunglasses. Oh, well, I'm fucking up already. Yeah. I'm um, mess. Anyway, so they, apparently, the uh, boomers cannot tell real real photos from AI. So that's this picture is about like a dog surfing, and behind it it's like a castle. And like, with a, with a whistle, and everybody, all the comments on fucking Facebook is, oh, so beautiful, oh, amazing, oh, beautiful dog. They cannot yeah, tell. From what I've seen on Instagram and Facebook, they can't tell the difference between <laughs> like a real car crash video and a car crash video from GTA 5. They're like, oh my god, did you see that what dog ran to a wheelie? And then the, the flying DeLorean come along? I'm like, oh, yeah, and, that, and then and sometimes it even says in the title, continue. like, like a best of AI, in the fucking title of the post. And then, like a fucking luxurious house with like five Lamborghinis. Fucking boomers. And then, uh, and even then, they cannot tell it's not real. Uh, it's crazy. No wonder they get like scanned from uh, India and Okay, Nigeria. incidentally, uh, I don't want to interrupt the news, but directly following uh, the gambling stream, and Alexi thinks we should just keep gambling, we are going to be doing a, uh, we are going to be jumping over to Twitter Spaces, although we'll still be on here, and uh, we'll be doing a, a Bloodhound Gang fan chat with. Mike Fielding from the Mighty Boosh. Yeah, I, I actually didn't know what the Mighty Boosh was, so I had to look it up. Yeah, it was it was in America on, on Adult Swim, like the same place you see Squidbillies and Metapocalypse and, yeah. uh, and um, Aqua Teens. That it was in that that block. Squidbilly? I mean, it's pretty funny, but there was like this squid on the Mighty Boosh. You, you, you saw that one? No. Like the squish head. Don't tell him when we get to the stream that I've never seen the show. <laughs> did you even? You, did, you didn't even prepare for today? I had to watch it. Like, it's not the best I mean, of. how much for preparation is it? Yeah, it's a show. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to memorize every fucking episode. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was, it's kind of funny. It's okay. like public TV stuff. Okay, all right. Well, uh, also in the news, uh, you, you know the moon, right? I've seen it before. Yes. Yeah. There is today, <laughs> probably in approximately like 10 minutes from now, there's going to be a moon landing. Really? The first moon fucking landing. Fucking Chinese. The they did it. The first moon landing since 1970. No, I think it's a company out of like Texas or something. What? It's not the Chinese? Yeah, it's not the Chinese. Woo! It's not the Chinese. <laughs> oh. So there's going to be a moon landing. The, if successful, it'll be the first. It's, it's unmanned. But it will be the first successful moon landing since 1972. So that's great. Why? Oh, realize, I mean, realizing that, like, space age, the space age, you know, people talk about space age technology. Really, the space age ended, like, 50 years ago. I mean, are they going to yeah. are they gonna be able to prove that the... Uh, Moon landing back uh, in the what sixties? Yes, sixty nine. Only with AI. Only was with AI. Uh, real? I mean, uh, there's a lot of conspiracies. Well, huh? I mean, the, the chance, Stanley, the Stanley I mean, Kubrick did it. It's not written in stone that it's going to happen at all because the last two moon landings in the past year, both of them crashed. Are they going to land nearby? Are they going to like? They, they say it's going to be near the South Pole, the moon, wherever that is. So it's no, no, nowhere near that they can actually. Check it out and all that. Oh, that's like a bag of crap because apparently they they, they left other shit. Okay. They left like bags of uh, of uh, fecal matter. Oh, as souvenirs. Oh, you know, for the next uh, space. Oh, plane. so like they could grow potatoes. Yeah. Like, uh, Matt Damon apparently they. Martin. So the story is that they landed and then they had a lot lot of shit in the in the little space capsule. They weren't eating bananas. Uh, no. <laughs> and they had to left it behind. You know, bags of shit. That is a shame. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the more you know. <laughs> the, the, the less you wish you did know. <laughs> All right, so we got the moon landing. Come on. Um, Let's see. Oh, Jerry Pekka's here. Let's oh, nice. You know. So uh, you, like, you like to watch YouTube, right? You know, it's free. Uh, from time to time. Yes, okay. You know. Oh, no, I also pay for that premium because I hate every time. Do you know who parenting YouTuber Ruby Frank is? I don't know. Well, apparently, uh, whoever it is and their ex-business partners were sentenced to prison for child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, I know. Uh, there was like a lady who was like starving their kids. No, no, no. Yes. That's that sounds she is, isn't it? Uh, well, I don't know what they were doing, but apparently no, but, they but, were but going on is like, like she was like because they did something bad or come too late, like five minutes too late. Or yeah, something. they were like they just... have to starving the whole day and stuff like that. Hey, I arrived right now to the school. Oh, you're one minute too late. Walk up to the school. 
Like, like that. That shit was like, a, like, like, like uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, and mistre- well, mistreating the old family. Well, whoever it is, uh, in back-to-back hearings Tuesday, uh, Frankie and ex-business partner Jody Hildebrand were sentenced to four to sixty years behind bars after four convictions. What do you mean four to sixty? Four to sixty. I mean, four she can be sixty. Uh, she could be out in five. So how did that? Uh, I should five two and a half. So how four old convictions? Did they, how did they find out? Like, like after it, four two years? and a half. Unless they get Epstein. Oh. oh. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like you, you they get Epstein? Because any prison sentence in America could be a death sentence now. Yeah. That's you true. don't know. You, 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 it's like you could I mean, out. they're YouTubers. They know. I they mean, know shit. I mean, they could name names. <laughs> the thing that happened to Epstein was probably because of black men and the big guys. Of course. I don't think like those child abusers got like black men or something. Yeah, but I mean, Epstein was just like... Hey, we got some mails from Bill Epstein Clinton. Epstein was just like some financial kids. guy. These guys are YouTubers. That is the new oh. rock star. Oh, speaking of that, uh, they know everything. Do you have the the, the, the Trump video thing in, in the news? YouTube was on okay, the news. Okay, we're not even on MAGA news yet. What are you talking I about? I was talking about uh, jail stuff, but uh, I didn't You're really saying like the YouTube was on the new rock stars? We're getting there. We're getting there. YouTube is like, like mm-hmm. I don't know, like early 2000s. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a big thing now. Yeah, it's, it's huge now. It's huge, motherfuckers. It's switch. The 50 50. Yeah, no, know. man. All right, in any case, in music news, guess who is coming out of retirement? Um, uh, the Beastie Boys. Oh, no, wait. It's uh, one missing. Nope. Uh, Tupac? Slayer! Oh! Slayer is coming. Well, all right, not all of Slayer, obviously. Jeff Hunter would be dead. But most, well, like at least 50% of Slayer is coming out of retirement. Oh, it's like Mantera. Yeah. So, um, d- despite the fact they can't stand each other, Kerry King and Tom Araya will be uh, touring, a, or at least headlining, the Louder Than Life Festival with a reformed uh, Slayer. Obviously, Jeff Hanneman's there. Uh, I consider the only real Slayer with uh, Dave Lombardo. Lombardo can't stand either of them, so he's not coming back. <laughs> so, uh, they will, however, be uh, the top of the bill at this year's Louder Than Life Festival, uh, I think in Kentucky or something, uh, with Slip, Slipknot and... Corn and another band that uh, re- retired like five times, Motley Crue. Tupac. Huh? Okay. I don't think Tupac is playing there. Okay. All right. Um, all right. In news of the weird. I know how you guys love this. Wait. Yes? Uh, every news right now was like totally... That was totally normal news. Okay. That was totally normal news. Uh, in Atkinson, New Hampshire, a new business is stirring up controversy. The Diaper Spa is a haven for adults who like to role play as children. So you know those sickos you see out walking around? The diapers? The diapers? Yeah, like yeah. Barney and uh, the Simpsons? Yeah. I'm big baby! So they got now like a like a spa? Yes, apparently spa is open to all diaper-wearing individuals who seek acceptance, respite, and care. Uh, the facility is decorated like a... Oh, oh, hey, bonus already! Oh, well, okay, all right, well. We'll come, we'll come back to the... Uh, I did, I did a, We'll come back to the diaper I, I did like 350 bucks yesterday on this one. Yeah, I'm wondering about that's not going to happen this time. But, hey... No, no, no. You do never know. Alright, here we go. To be fair, I Plink on it. And... No. There you go! Ah! Oh, you really believe in me. A hundred! Oh! Hey, not bad! Yeah, that's something. That's something. We still don't have one 200x yet, but yeah. You know. Where's this redneck game? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, we can play that later. Wasn't that the money maker? We got plenty of time. Yeah, plenty really. of time. Plenty of money. All right, so um, let's get back to the uh, the diaper spa. Yeah, uh, the facility is decorated like a nursery with toys and adult sized cribs. Services range from two hundred an hour for virtual play dates to a fifteen hundred dollar a day experience that pampers the little one inside you. Uh, the owner, uh, Dr. Colleen Ann Murphy, said the community of adult baby diaper lovers is vast. Being a part of this community brings comfort and soul, she says, and added that her services do not have a sexual component, unless you want them to. Oh, Some nice. Atkinson's residents are concerned, though that's something I will never be willing to expose my kid to, said Kayla Gallagher. People tend to fear anything they fail to comprehend, Murphy countered. I mean, I, adults running around in diapers... You know, so, sometimes bullying is... ...that true. aren't ex-presidents, I find a little bit weird. Yeah, sometimes bullying and is appropriate. To be fair, to be fair, it's not none of my business, so if they're doing that behind doors, you know, no one sees that, don't give a shit. Well, I mean, it's weird for me, but personally, if someone is into it, but I we don't are, and I think may, possibly during the, uh, possibly during, you know, on, on the same note, possibly during the um, the stream for charity, 
we are going to have to wear adult diapers because we are having a shot of water quiz where we have to take a shot of water once a minute until somebody pees their pants. So we're going to wear adult diapers and we're going to put water sensors in them. And then we're <laughs> pees their pants what do you mean water pants. sensors? You just watch it and you piss yourself. No, you put an alarm in there. You could pee yourself. You could like a little, let a little bit out and like get away with, with nobody knowing about it. I don't want... But when, we're putting if I piss, I can't suck it up When is the last man. time you wear We're putting, we're putting an alarm in there. I either piss or I don't. When is the last time you, you wear a diaper? Um, didn't we have to wear... I think I had to wear one when I lost a bet on uh, Beer Pong League. No, that was... Uh, Krogi had to wear it. Okay, we're some, one of us had to wear it. Yeah. Dude. But he hadn't... Had, he, 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 oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of balls. You're like, like one of those TikTok kids. You <laughs> know? And he, this would be a great place to upset Krogi for that. In fact, next time he loses a bet, I think I'm gonna send him there. Yeah. Okay, we got 56 balls. I'll bet you that means nothing. Okay, let's fuck! Ah! That means we can potentially win $5,600! Ah! $56,000! It's gonna be a big one, I can tell. Yes! We got two more, two more uh, tries. You think 62 bucks is a lot? You got two more tries. You got ten balls. But multiplied by two. That's why we got a two over here. Yeah, you already know the rules. Of course. Look an expert here. We got another times four. Like 40. And... Titties! Ah! Oh! Eight. Ah. Alright. And... Nutsack! Ah! Here we go, here we go, 16! Come on, 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 Fuck! Uh. Okay, but not bad, not uh, it bad. Gets us over, it gets us over 2,000 at least. For the next 10 minutes. Uh, exactly. There you go, what Okay, so... We, 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 Zep, got, we got two bonuses over 100 Zep in 10 minutes. Zep has turned into the first word he hears is diaper. This is his kind of show. Yeah, we speak... You don't hear him talking about that? You don't hear diaper talk on Star We're speaking about our diaper that's why, that's why our ratings To be fair, when I was a kid, we had diapers. But I'm pretty sure they evolve over the time. Like adult diapers? I think adult diapers have evolved. They can, I think they can hold it a lot. I don't think they had the pants. Like, I don't remember the pants existing when I was in high school. Like, adult uh, diapers, I mean, at least in people talk about. It's at least, like, over 30 years. Ago, uh, but in know. more boomer news, uh, lottery sales tickets, uh, lottery tickets are declining. Nobody's buying lottery tickets anymore. Mainly because of this. Like, people see gambling online, and the chances to win money here are a lot more than the infinitesimal chances to win in the lottery. Now, our grandparents and parents... Um, Is it in America or all over the world? Uh, this, of course, it's all American. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 you'll get to this in Germany in like 30 years. Oh, okay. I still see the postcode lottery advertised on TV all the time. Uh, our grandparents <laughs> and parents used to love buying lottery tickets. But younger people who are more well-versed in math, because our parents didn't know math existed and the internet were appalled by the idea that you pay money for something that just won't happen mathematicians have calculated the odds for winning a lottery ticket are so abysmally small that you're literally better off gambling your money instead hence dumpster fire there you go uh the habit of paying money for lottery tickets is starting to die out and uh, apparently that's a good thing today's internet savvy kids have already watched all the youtube videos they need to convince them they never play the lottery They've also seen enough statistical evidence which suggests that even lottery winners end up broke, or in debt, or with severe family issues. A recent Gallup poll, 61% of people yeah. aged, 61 of people 50 to 64, our age group, Stay poor. Lotteries, well, only 33% of millennials have any interest. Which, uh, you know, I, I, guess that, uh, I guess that makes sense. Like, but mathematically, the chances of you buying a lottery ticket and, and winning a million dollars are almost statistically the same of you finding a lottery ticket on the sidewalk that's worth a million dollars. So you know, why not just count on that sidewalk ticket? Yeah, you know? it's the same thing. You know, so, yeah, I don't think uh, the lottery is gonna be, I'm sure they publish your squaring house. Pro yeah, you never see Ed McMahon advertising that shit anymore. Yeah. And did you ever watch those like uh, the shows, like the, the, the lottery ruined my life? Uh, no, but I, I've read uh, like small like Articles or something. Yeah, that they, like just about every time somebody wins a lottery, they either become a drug addict, or they go out and blow it all on Lamborghini. They would totally be me. Yeah, and just Instant, like, instantly. Yeah, I mean, if I won the lottery, if I won ten million dollars, you know what I'd do? I would, I would be dead in five years. Yeah, I'd probably like put a new roof on my house, 
and like maybe like finish the pole barn. It probably just so I'd have more space to store the wood that I'm chopping. Oh, oh that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, like they, these people, they either go out and blow it on drugs. Or like Lamborghinis and bullshit. Or I would do that. Someone has found a hundred percent that or, would I. Or do. someone finds out this guy's got a million dollars and then like kidnaps their kid. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. I saw that too. Him. Yeah. So yeah, lottery not my not my way of uh, not Maybe my plan on what, no no no. But I remember I used to work with a dude whose only plan, like you know, my plan was you know go to college. Get into a band, you know, hopefully, the, the, you know, do okay there, try and make some money, you know, maybe get on TV. Like, that was my, you know, yeah. the plan I, I, I laid out when I was a kid. And, you know, I more or less tried to stick to that. His entire plan was win the lottery. Like, he oh. had no backup plan. He was just like, I'm going to win the lottery. What happened? He won the lottery. Guess again. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, well, it, but that would have been a cool story, right? No, yeah, it would have been. <laughs> and to be fair, at least he had the plan, right? Oh, and look, who is just in, in time. Maggie News! Do, do we have a... Well, we don't have an intro. Let's, oh, why not? Uh, it should yet. be a huge American flag. <laughs> I'm going to do one. <laughs> huge American flag. I mean, I, I don't think we're getting away from that. I, I, I mean, we, we, we kind of need one for the election. Yes. No, we, we need one now. There's always going to be more and more Maggie News. It's going to pile up. At least All right, so does the, does the number 364 million mean anything to you? Uh, no. No, okay, that is the amount of money that Prisoner PO 1135809 was fined for uh, his organization being um, basically a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> so, um, and uh, he needs to pay up because the, the interest alone totals $87,000 a day. A day? Per day. Damn. So, um, but he's got a plan. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you Trump Shoes. The new January Sixers. Yes. yes. <laughs> the, look at that. That man. I thought. I thought those Yeezy shoes were. I jacking. mean, you you would kill a vice president for that. Where? How do I? You know? Where do I get that? I would gladly kill my presidential opponent in prison to get one of get a pair of those. Hey, you, you want to buy me those? Don't forget one. that. You want to buy me those, right? Okay, but, but I mean, I think I've seen, I've seen this design somewhere before. Yeah, there, there's 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 the inventor. There's a the designer with them. But I don't. I think he might have ripped that off because I've seen this before somewhere. Really? Yes. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Oh yes. Look at this. Oh. Yes. Back <laughs> in the eighties, Al Bundy designed those shoes. Well, that's more like nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Nah. No, nah. No, maybe Bundy, Bundy early nineties. Yeah. So yeah, gold shoes. Where have we seen those before? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So fantastic. All right. Um, so and did you hear something about the price rate? Oh, uh, I, I think a guy paid nine thousand dollars for a pair. Really? But they're they're four hundred bucks a pair, and um, they when you give them your money, uh, it comes with this, like, no no refunds, and um, you may never get your shoes. They're not even produced. Well, the, the, the nine thousand dollar pair was. <laughs> so you buy them and then you hope you get them. Yes, no refunds. So oh. that's, that's a new lottery then. What a genius business player. We should do that. Uh, I mean, uh, no wonder he's the richest man in America almost. Yes. Almost. The Genera almost. January Sixers. Yes. Um, but after the, the fine was announced, um, his son uh, went on the air. Eric Trump, do we have him? Yeah. He's very upset. Oh, another boner. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, but before we get to Eric... So only one? 41. Okay. And here we go. Ah! Only, only one X? Yeah, we gotta fin uh, fill up this bar. Okay, okay, we fill that bar up, okay. And we're gonna fill up the second one? No. Oh, maybe. Close. Come on, come on! Uh, a five center, a five center. Okay, but we might... Um, oh, there's some... I didn't push all the buttons. Now, now we got two. Four! I feel like the price is right. Yeah, kind of. I kind of feel like the least. price is wrong. You scream at least. Oh, Here we go! 10 and 4x! Oh, did you see that one? It was almost, almost at a thousand. That's a, that's a cock tease. He's really believing this is. Of course. And... Here we go! 
Yeah, yeah, money. There's a lot of pennies there. Should bring up at least once to ten of these. And he would get kicked out of the casino. Titties! Imme immediately. Immediately. Because I'm winning too much, probably. Uh, because I'm not yeah. And that's it. Hey, 140, not bad. So you're over 2,000 again. Yeah, look at us. For the next 10 minutes. 2,100. Maybe 20 yeah. minutes. But we only need to stay there for 35 minutes. Unless we decide to keep the gambling going into the chat. Which I think, maybe we should, maybe we should just keep it going. I mean, um, couldn't hurt. We'll or, or what do the corporate overlords say? Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, Taka and Putin meeting. Did you have, have something about that? Uh, no. Did you see it? Yes. Wasn't it entertaining for you? I mean, it's amazing. The 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 trains in Moscow run on time. It's so much better than any American city. It is. Have you ever been to Moscow? No, fuck no. Oh my god. Like you can actually see the air. <laughs> Alright, so, so this is uh, great. Uh, this one, right? Yes. And this is the things he gets? My father built the skyline of New York City. And this is the things he gets? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should, nice. you should have that in audio. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, make that. Uh, do you want to fact check this? <laughs> Can you see something he built? I mean, there's a couple of things there. But, I mean, it... Well, the mob was really involved with that, wasn't it? Like, yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, the Empire State Building that you know, was around, you know, hundreds of years, but the most famous thing there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Trump built the, the World Trade Center, Empire State Building, no, but Statue of Liberty. But back in the early 90s, he was involved in a lot of buildings, but also... Well, I mean, like, it was buildings that like, somebody else already built, and he put it, he stuck his name on them. No, no, but, you know, he was involved in building things up, but also the mob was involved with them. Like, this is, like, well documented. Like John Gotti and all those... Right, guys. right, yeah, but, yeah. I, but I mean, like... So what did that say about your president? No, but also, like, what 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 is what is Trump trying to imply? That, well, yeah, I, my dad, even if he built the entire... Skyline, which he didn't single handedly, do. but by himself, with his own, with his own, with his yeah. own two tiny yeah. hands. <laughs> but, but my dad built this stuff, so he should be able to get away with whatever crimes he wants. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, America. I, I just don't get what that, what he's whining about. But anyhow, MAGA. Uh, wasn't it Trump's dad? No, Trump's dad built a uh, a bunch of ghettos, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, slum apartments in Queens. Yes. <laughs> That's where the that's where the money came from. Yeah. All right, so that is it for MAGA news. Oh no 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 wait, wait, no it is uh, not no it is not. Like yes, like no yes. no no. Where, where's George Santos? Uh, I don't have a picture. What I sent you a picture? Yeah, last I, week. I, I, I delete them after the show. Uh, I don't have it. Well, we all know what George Santos looks like. Uh, he has filed a lawsuit in federal court that, court this week against Jimmy Kimmel for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for misuse of his cameos after Jimmy Kimmel. As apparently, like I told you, the, the cameo was like 200 bucks. Yeah. Apparently, Jimmy Kimmel was having him say all kinds of crazy shit in cameos. And he did? Showing on his shows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he didn't say whatever. <laughs> whatever you want, he'll say it. But, and then he'll sue you for... Like a bitch he is. three quarters of a million dollars. And what's the reason? Because so you shot them on TV or what? I, I have no idea. So for the, because... Some make some, some shit because, up. Because, yeah, because that's not the way... Because the grifter's got a grift. Yes. Grifter got a grift. <laughs> It's like a carny, you know. Oh, that? Yep. You know uh, on The Simpsons, one of my favorite Good. episodes. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Like Thank you. you. Normal. It's it's one of the. The uh, cooters. Yeah, it's one of the best episodes of The Simpsons. That horror fella gripped you good, Dad. <laughs> yeah, there's no shame. That's bud. There's no shame in getting beaten by the best. Dude, Dad, he didn't seem so. We was beaten by the best. <laughs> Did you think it will ever get? Back to normal, like like uh, will this mega? No, this is this is the new normal. This is the new normal. It's gonna get it's gonna get, man, it's gonna get weird from here on out. Yeah, this, it's it, already weird. We're yeah, getting... but we're gonna get weird with it, baby. <laughs> we're America. <laughs> it's like the movie Id 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 Idiocracy. Yeah, it I'm is, buying right. a tractor and driving to the supermarket. <laughs> it is. All right, so that brings us to sports news with. Former German Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion of the World, Tarkin Aslan. <laughs> you want to
Thanos up because see you got some things. I already got also got some things. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I will start with wrestling news. Yeah, go ahead. Let me throw this question at you, Tarkin. Yes. Why is the WWE erasing Brock Lesnar? Because he allegedly he was involved in this uh, Vince McMahon scam. Yes. So he has been replaced. Um, by NXT star Braun Breaker at the Royal Rumble and has been removed from the WWE 2K Supercard roster, whatever that is, and replaced yes. on the cover of WWE 24K, yes. 2K24 by John Cena, as well as uh, Cena's merchandise. Well, it hasn't been removed from the WWE store. It has been a deeply, deeply discounted. And why is that? Do you remember Chris Benoit, the whole thing? Yes. So he was he's erased from the whole WWE history, right? Like if you did because he was a Canadian. No, because he killed his family. Oh, oh suicide. That too. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but yeah, and the same thing is right now in this uh, day of age. You can say with sexual sexual harassment, mis misconduct, or no. uh, mis uh, misconduct. Yes, allegedly. So, and because of this reason, they're now erasing Brock Lesnar. Oh. The only question that I have, like, he's is probably, When is he going to AEW? No, probably not, probably not. Uh, is he going to jail, jail? No, he's probably not going to jail right now. But if he gets a buyout, or is he like, like, because of this thing, like, they can't pick him Oh, but Vixen gave us a hundred, uh, something. Tongues. Like, a hundred little unicorns. hearts. A hundred unicorns. Oh, thank you, about Vixen. Yeah. I didn't see that. Because as you know, like, all the contracts nowadays, especially in sports, got a moral clause, right? Like, like for moral turpitude. Exactly. So that's a, that's a, that's the only question because, like, he had like like he's probably the biggest earner right now, or was the biggest earner in WWE. So More he, than The Rock, you think? More than uh, John the Cena had, had, a, had, a, had a standby contract. Like, huh? like, uh, more than Roman Reigns? Yeah. Way more. More than Rhea Ripley? Yeah, way more. Hmm. I mean, you know all the names. Oh. <laughs> so because that, because of that, I'm thinking like, if he gets a buyout or like, like whatever, you know, that, that's you know. Oh, so almost a boner again. Yeah. But if if it's really happened, what he's allegedly did, mm -hmm. yeah, then fuck him. Yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't say that in his, in, uh, into his face because he probably would kill all three of us in one minute. Yeah. Without even blinking. But besides that, fuck it. But. Are they doing the same with uh, Vince McMahon? Like, yeah, it could probably. be tough, tough time to erase him from uh, no, the probably, history. No, probably, probably. It's like the same with Chris Benoit, right? Like, the, they never will be mentioned until... Are they going to go back to the 80s and, like, when they're, when they're, they're having the commentary, no, but, Jesse the Body uh, is just no, talking fuck. about no, but, some, something that's uh, photo distorted out? No, not distorted out. Yeah, but, you know, cut it off or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, and for, 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 for the commentary, yeah, replace it. It's, like, always the same. Never been... So what else you got? All right, so do you know who Danny Alves is? Yeah, I heard the story. He's okay, a okay. former Brazilian uh, national player. Yes, yes, and Barcelona. And he was sentenced to four and a half years for sexually assaulting a woman in a nightclub in Barcelona in 2022. Which is you got my time, every right? second athlete, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, I guess you don't do it in Barcelona. I don't know. I, mean, Never. I, mean, I guess whatever Brock Lesnar did, he did in America. Yeah, so... Turns out also All right, so since we are expanding... Into the sports book, we have to start learning about guys. Yeah, like uh, but uh, not the sports, but the criminal activities of the. Yeah, but I, mean, but I mean, this guy, but I mean, this guy apparently is a huge, massive star, and I was. I first, was. But I mean, I first heard his news, his name today. Yeah, no, yeah. was back. You know, he he's right now like forty something. He's out for five years or something. Like that. And also in soccer news, some guy named Messi from Argentina. Is now apparently playing for. <laughs> but again, Annie. You, you can tell you don't watch football or soccer or some guy, some some dude like called Messi. He played there for two <laughs> years right now or something like that. Won a, won a cup and stuff like that. Well, apparently they won a game today. You know. no, no, but he was no. also cup. <laughs> I mean, I, I have no idea who it is. No, no. But when I when I was in Florida, I was Did in the Hard Rock Cafe, it? and they have like a whole Messi display, like Messi. They show pictures of Messi in the kitchen. As, as far as I know, Messi that's the German word for a hoarder. But yeah, apparently, no, my, no, no. My, my my kid knows who it is. And apparently they, they're giving away like messy soccer balls. Did you ever, did you, uh, um, in, in did you ever hear about the Ballon d'Or? The Ballon d'Or is like the the cup for the for the you know the, the journalists and all those. For things. Major League Soccer. Yeah, it's like for the MVP. No, no, no. For for the worldwide soccer players. Okay. For the MVP of the year, right? Like the journalists and everybody sitting together. 
So scandal is like um, Messi won that last year, but he played in America, so everybody. Was Wait, like, wasn't wasn't soccer like the the sport where like the head of the soccer organization like got in trouble for molesting some chick last year, like a, a player? No, he wasn't that soccer. No, he like kissed. Uh, that was Hit one of the is, of the players on the, like yeah, in the, on that the, was like the nationals. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but, well, but that I mean, is a but long I mean, as far as I know, ago. Barcelona is also in Spain. So why is it, why isn't this guy in jail? I think he got kicked out of the soccer federation no, no, or something. No, 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 no. He he was asked to leave. He didn't want to leave, so they kicked him out. Well, but not in the prison. No. All right. Well, that's all I got. What do you got? Well, I got the greatest. New sports. The greatest love of all? No, no, no. <laughs> the greatest new sports that we should like... Mexican chicken fights! Not even close. Oh. That we should do even regularly. Like, uh, wait a second. I start from for a second. Foxy soccer. Oh, give us a second. Underwear American football. Don't be harsh. Foxy so, boxing? So I send, send a link to WhatsApp. Please open the link. Oh, wait. I, I've dinged. No, wait, wait, wait. We watch it together, right? Okay. So, what was that with Chevy Chase? This one must be one of the weirdest. Extreme ironing Extreme champion comes back, com makes oh. comeback. Oh, he he. That's uh, that's a new sport we should bet on. Oh, so he was retired, so, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, you have to. I can't. Yeah, iron but the new rookies all. cannot keep up with. No, no, no. With I can't iron in at all. But those guys, they put it to the next level. So you have to look out. Oh, look at that shit. For the greatest sports that you can find and have to iron in. And I got no clue about iron. See, I would have thought an electric iron would not work well on one. But oh, hey, that that must hurt the cow. But I want to bet on those things. You got me? Okay. All right. I see that. I, I, yeah, I see what's going. I mean, can you imagine going in a training camp for that? It must be uh, crazy. So besides that, I got some different sports as well, like other sports that I really like that we bet on. Okay. It's always time. This one, for example. Well, what about this sport? I joined Andrew Tate's cult and it was worse than I thought. <laughs> kind of rich. I sent the ne next thing. Let's see. Uh, oh, they're, they're running. Oh, I've seen. This is the running of the cheese. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the cheese running. Dude, we should bet on that. At least, let's let's do this. Who's taking bets? Are you, are you mad or, or what? What the fuck? There will be some guys who are taking bets, right? Um, yeah, of course. We're, 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 we're opening up a sports book. We're going to bet on everything. Dude, can you imagine we'd be there? Looks like we should So where's the cheese? We have to roll down the, the hill. Like, where's the cheese, Danny? There's a comedian in Besides that... I forgot the so I'm sure there wasn't like the uh, Claire Peller and where's the beef? Think I'll just lose uh, no, this is actually a funny comedian. <laughs> Where's the cheese, Danny? See? And then, yeah, whoever gets the cheese wins. <laughs> are, they, are they trying to catch it? I don't see them reaching for it. I like that Nathan Jones looking guy. I just, look, 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 look at those dives. I just see them. <laughs> look at them in the green shirt. <laughs> they must be the greatest sport of Oh, the oh! Dude, fucking love that. Hey, we should do that. Like, like... Let's bring that doesn't fire. look injury prone at all. No, that's when dumps a fire to it. So oh, he, got, he got the cheese. Hey, this could be us, man. This could be us. Let's bring that back to America. Wait, was that Christian? Imagine Christian? Nah. Yeah! That's Christian Cage. Who? This guy? Pretty sure it's not. That, uh, you always said it because he's white. What? No! What are you saying? All white people look the same? Yeah. That is racist to be a Turkish bastard. <laughs> Uh, what I mean is, like, you can bring that trophy to America. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. All right. Oh, the, the, oh, this, so, the, the, oh, the, the, the female leak. Are they going to chase the cheese up the hill? Yeah, there we go. I sent another sport, which another, another will sport. become my second favorite sport. So right after that. This is a sick. Is it a dinosaur marathon? Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, love it. So, what, what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. What are you what doing? Are you doing? We're rude. We're rude. Go back, go back. Can we rewatch? Look at this. Maj it's the greatest Maj thing. Majestic. Ever. Yeah, isn't it? Look at this motherfucker. Oh, look at him. Look at him run. <laughs> this could be us, man. <laughs> we should train. Wow. Yeah. But hey, here's my favorite sport. You know, because like like 
I, I, I mean, we, we got like 51 more weeks this year, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah, you don't, because... don't, blow, don't blow your load, I mean. <laughs> no, 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 It's no, a no. long time before August. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Wrong link. I sent you the right one. No, 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 no. Uh. Don't link. We already had that. I sent the right one. We're already in reruns. So this one, we have to bet for it. Midget? No. I don't think you can say that. Oh. What are these oh, grandpa oh, grandparents race. Yes. Elderly people. <laughs> oh, it's almost getting a heart attack. Oh, 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 oh the hip is gone. Oh, oh, that's, a, that's a hip replacement. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, we should oh, bet on that. We should bet on that. Hmm? I mean, we can't train for there's, that. There's gotta be like side bets, like who gets if, a heart if, attack. Hey, who, if we who, come who, in that, we the rookie. Who needs yeah. a who needs a hip replacement? Uh -huh. And this is the greatest Damn, sport look, of them all. Damn, look, Grandpa eats some shit. Uh, yeah, right there. <laughs> greatest sport of them all. What did I tell you, right? All right, all right, I can see that. That's Seattle. Oh, yeah, well, uh, of course, Seattle. A lot of people in assisted living. You got you to do that in like in in Florida. Where, where like... Yeah, I think we can do bring that up in Berlin. I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of pensioners here. We could rent them from the uh, from the assisted living facility, by me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm also like like legit into we make a beer Olympic. Uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, Daniel, Air, we are, uh, we are here for the slots, banana. Yeah, we. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna show we're gonna show the video next time in like in the in the video next to the slot or something. <laughs> yeah, I figured something out. <laughs> Only here for the slots. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Man removed from Madam Web screening from masturbating to Sydney Sweeney, Julia Carpenter's Spider Man. Oh, okay. I think we can show that, can't we? Uh, where's the link? That's the, that's a meme that I sent in the chat. But... Oh, that's yeah. It was a feel good story for for oh yeah you because your feel good story. Oh yeah. Did you, did you have a feel good story this week? That's it. Nothing. That's it. it probably. Is, yeah. right, I'll say you feel good about it. Um. Oh shit. Our table Wait. guy, please, guys. <laughs> well, they're here. Loads. They're here for the slots. You don't want to put. Yeah, I'm gonna, you I'm certainly gonna, don't want to put Chevy Chase over slots. I'm know? gonna show you, like, you gotta make it smaller. That's what she said. Yes. Yeah, you still no, no, no. Slots. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're you're a fucking disaster, man. All right, <laughs> all right. Any more? Any more sports news? No, no. Well, okay, it's quiz. Time. That, that, that brings us to our challenge. All right. And for the first time ever, I think, we're going to be doing an alcohol challenge. Really? So you have some beer? You mean it's alcohol-free beer, yeah? Yes. Uh, you mean this, this uh, Captain Morgan free? Yes, we have uh, alcohol-free Captain Morgans here. All right, each one of us gets a beer. All right, give me a glass. All right, you don't, I mean, you don't want to, we need to have room in the glass, so I don't think the whole beer is going to fit in there. Put like half. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's not part of the game today. Yeah, we'll get to that. It is, it is. No. So, wait. Uh, to get, like... get away, get away! What do you mean? Get, get, get the fuck away what from me. What do you mean? Get away from me. We can do that beer or, or shocker. Okay, we do, okay, that, about a half beer. Good, good, good half. Good. Half beer, half shocker? No, get the fuck away from me. Okay, so. How much is it? It's not much. Well, here, hit me in the arm. No, get away! Get away! <laughs> hey, it's annoying. You, it's you, annoying. Uh, you cannot trust this asshole, dude. What? Are, you just saw him shock me. Yeah, but you. Hey. You, you only pretend it's not a uh, painful. Hey, hey, if we do this twenty-four hours uh, charity singing, you're gonna get shocked a lot. Right, let's hey, see. and I gonna do the jackass singing. At one point, I will shave your head, and you don't. Will feel All right, it. so hand me the wheel. Hand me the wheel. Okay, so the challenge is, uh, Tarkin has prepared some questions for us. If you get your question wrong. You have to face the wheel. Can you hand me the, uh... So, I'm not gonna get rid of this stuff. What, what, what is this? Is a, what do you need? A dry erase marker. Oh. Not, not the eraser, the marker. There is no marker there. Alright, so I'm just gonna make a... Just gonna make a mark up here, right? So this half of the board... Right? This half of the board is going to be egg. Wait, wait, I have an egg. Yeah, so this is the egg half. Maybe you just write an egg inside? Ah, I just make it an egg. Right, nice egg. And this half is going to be the hot sauce half. Oh, and whatever you get, like you put it in the beer? Whatever you get goes in the beer. Oh, I'm, I'm just a spoiler. Really and sorry. then, the whoever has the most shit in their beer has to drink it. 
Easy. Could be easier than that. God damn it. All right, so, so we got raw eggs, right? We got hot sauce. All right, we're ready to go. And we have the black dog. Damn, the black dog. So are you going to ask each one of us a question? Or are you yes. Gonna, okay. And right, this so, very week, I come up with something that you both really love. Okay. So, Which is, what, what is the quiz about? Yeah, let, here's the first question. What could be the scene that you both really love? Uh, I don't know. Titties? Besides that. Um, adult yeah. diaper pornography. You have a quiz about adult diaper pornography? All right. Yes. <laughs> you got me. So, no, but besides that... We speak in mode, GTA 5. Oh, okay, great, GTA, all right. Oh, all right. You're both playing it, right? Yes. I played just a few missions. I got right. no good oh, good border. Game. Good game. All right, all right, so who, who goes first? We roll the dice? Yeah, roll the dice, please, because right. otherwise- where's the, where's the dice roll? You cheat. Because here's the thing. I told him, let me come up with a quiz and you don't know the scene before. So, no. Okay, uh, shit, uh, who, who's first? Uh, well, you just rolled, you got a three. Yeah, like, motherfucker, he rolled. <laughs> who's first? <laughs> Six! Alright! Damn it! It means I go first, right? Yes. Okay. However you prefer, you want. No, 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 no. So you want to go first or yeah. you want to choose the side? No, no, I'll go first. It's like like the coin toss, right? Yeah, it's easy. Okay. So we speak in GTA 5. You ready, guys? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, I gotta it's instead of shit here. Hang on, we gotta we gotta do the, the rounds first. Okay. Okay, alright, all right. I mean people are here for gambling, not really. Well Daniel here is definitely here. Yeah, he yeah. Daniel look at angry because we're doing too much uh, stupid stuff. Too much bullshitting. Oh. 1480, that was certainly worth it. Luckily, we for waited for that and went in 1487. I mean, you guys. Not me. All right. All right. So, beer, egg challenge. Okay. So, Lamar, right? This is a character from GGF. Right? Lamar, yeah? Yes. Yes. It's the best friend to, to which character? Franklin. Exactly. All right. <laughs> but, uh, easy. Yeah, this is really okay, easy. I only... So I'll put it really down for you guys. Yeah, you dump that way down. Yeah. <laughs> Which character has the best default driving skills? Uh, Michael. Nope. Oh, okay, so spin the wheel. It's, Fuck! It's Franklin. Damn it. All right, the purple is a split. All right, so it is... Ah, it's an egg. Shit. It's an egg. All right, here we go. You sure you want to do this on your mouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably we'll not. The same. The eggs tend to make a, make a mess, you know. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. What? At least, at least fish it out. I'm not able to drink it like that. <laughs> Whoops. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like dickhead. And you really think that like you got problems with eating Oreos? Dude, but it's bullshit that from the games you die and shit. Okay, all right. Next question. GTA 5 has the biggest map of all GTA games. True or false? False. True. True. Oh. 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 Roll. Roll. No, you gotta roll. Wait, 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 wait. And that egg. is egg. Egg. Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Ready for the next question? Yes. The famous mountain in the game is named. The famous mountain in the game? Yes. Uh, wait. I'll be very impressed if you get that one. <laughs> Don't Google it. Don't Google I that's a great song. Finally, you got it. We don't wait in 30 seconds for it. Do it. <laughs> Go! Wait! Uh, Mount. Mount Rushmore. No, fuck off. Mount Shimon. You gotta. You, you have to wait until the song is over. <laughs> no, that's, man, a, that's, that's, that's the time I get. Come on. Yeah, okay. Spin the wheel, oh, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Break the wheel, face the wheel. Oh, another egg! Another egg! Another egg! Damn it. Well, you're gonna have so much protein in your diet? What do you mean? Like an egg got like six grams of protein or something like that. It's, yeah. It's nothing. Yeah, but that's, it's 12 now. <laughs> uh, but it's too much fat because of the... Uh... The yolk, right? Well, yes. I mean, we're not doing an egg white challenge, that's for sure. 
Det, 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 Kate Cox is doing that. <laughs> Kate Cox is doing a, a, a egg white challenge. <laughs> Name of Lamar's dog, which is later given to Franklin, is. Oh, I know this. I know this. Give me, give me th- thinking music. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> You're cheating. Two each step. All right. So, um, what's the score? Like, so next, ready for next question? Yes. Um, uh, who are the three main characters in the game? That's too easy. Why? Wow. Hey, we speak it. Franklin. Him. Yeah. Michael. Yeah. And Trevor. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Ready for the next question? Yep. Which of these characters resides in a desert? Trevor. Yes. Which of these characters behaves a bit like a psychopath and have an anger issue? Trevor. Yes. At the starting of the game, who of these characters lives with his aunt? Franklin. Yes. If you want to save all three main characters in the game, which option do you have to choose in the last mission? I've never played to the last mission. That's a shame. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> you really can guess. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Oh. If you never played it, so what do you play the music for? What do you want to say? Just take a guess. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I mean, I know the story so far. I might as well guess. Not to kill Michael. Uh, last yeah. wish is the mission that you have to choose. What? You have last to choose the last wish. Last, last wish. All last right, wish. give it a spin. Last wish. Another egg? Another egg! Wow. Here, How many I'll questions are there? Full here. Six, six, like every time. Six for every, like for every person with six questions. All right. Okay, ready for the next question? Ready. And your last question. My last question. GTA is the most sold audiovisual product ever. What grow, uh, What was the gross profit? Profit or like uh, revenue, profit. revenue? No. One billion. No. Over six billion. Six billion. All right, so here we go. Another egg! I mean... It's fixed. <laughs> We're cheating. All right, this is it. It's what are we? It's three to th- no, 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 no. We got a last question for for him. Yeah, but I mean it's three to three, right? Yes. So you ready? Yeah. For the very last question. Yes. Give me please the GTA Five release date. Motherfucker! No, that's not. That is not it. If he gets this, it's a tie. If he misses it, the man man loses, and it's winner take all, so he has to drink both beers and all the eggs. Let me both beer, but one beer. It's winner takes all! Oh, Who said that? that? It was implied. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, it's one beer. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't waste you didn't, all that. Hey, you didn't read the introduction, right? Go. No. No, you gotta read the fine print. Yeah, come on. You guys barely know how to write. <laughs> You don't care, he believes in you! Banana man, banana man! Okay, banana release man. date was on the 4th of July of 2015. Okay, so you know what, what you, uh, did you want to know what you got right? Uh, the the year started with 2000. Yes, that's it. Yes. It was the 17th of September 
2013, which is hilarious. This game is 11 years old. Yeah, I, I had this on... Shit, I had it on... PlayStation 3? Yeah. No, no, no I had it on, on uh, uh, Xbox 360. I had it on Commodore Field Daisy. It came out originally on PlayStation 3, though. Yeah. Then PlayStation 4, then a remastered on yeah. PlayStation 5. So it's got three, so it. three generations. Right, so spin it. Let's oh, wait, wait, wait. First of all... First things first. People are all here. All right, so unfortunately, Banana Man, he's going to be drinking something. Let's see what he got. First thing first, we're here to gamble and not to do stupid shit. No, we're, we're here to do stupid shit. Oh, yeah, the gamble is a side effect. I just, I just giving uh, Daniel some uh, props, <laughs> 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 so he doesn't snitch on us with the bosses. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Oh shit! That is hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay, oh, finally. finally. There we go. And this is horrible hot sauce. So don't be shy with it. At, at least a little, a little flavor. Don't be shy. Here, let me help you. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, so, Banana Man. Once again, the Banana Man comes up short, and let's see if he can take the entire thing down. <laughs> we need, he needs, like, a barf bucket or something. No, no there's hey, no wait, 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 wait. What if I have to you barf? Do not, you You're do. not going to have to barf. It's hey, you can do this singing like, like, like a tornado singing, right? Yeah. No, I cannot. Singing. I've never done that in my life. Do did, you ever see, <laughs> did you ever see Rocky? He ate raw eggs. Wait, 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 let's, let's keep it spinning. Yeah. <laughs> and he never keep takes drugs. Rocks. And he never takes steroids. Like, Rocky looks like Rocky because of the raw eggs in the morning. Yeah. Nothing else. No growth I, I say, even when we switch wait, over... Wait, I gotta... Uh, uh, let, let's set up for this shit. I would say, even when we switch over to... Uh, even when we switch over to the... Black Dongs? To Twitter. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll leave the Black Dongs. When we switch over to Twitter, I think we should still keep the gambling going. Because, you know... No, obviously, Daniel's uh, here for the gambling. Or nah, do we have to switch them? We, we have to, we have, we we have have to chase the, the overlays and then uh, we, we didn't tell the people who are going to be on the stream that we're going to gamble. Uh, let's Corporate overlords are going to let, let us get away. Yeah, and the, the, the offer is not going to be running anyway. So there's All right, no well, in any case, we have three minutes left. Just enough time for the Banana Man, who, for those just turning in, the Banana Man has once again lost the challenge, as he does 99% of the time, and has to eat, or I guess drink, uh, eat, drink, drink a... Uh, Beer with a bunch of raw eggs Four and eggs. three eggs and some hot okay. sauce. All right, here we go. Whatever, right, man, psych yourself up. At least he gets some food. You know, we're gonna be here a long time. We don't have anything to eat. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> what are you doing? Keep going. What are you going, motherfucker? <laughs> look at this. Look at that bitch. She's not I even don't drinking. want to puke. I don't want to get puked, though, right? Uh, it's not bad at all. No, I guess not. He's puking. He's faking it. He's puking! Oh my god, he's puking! Don't be shy. Punch him in, punch in the stomach. Keep it going. Do it. <laughs> Don't stop the music. What is going on here? So the banana man apparently has never eaten an egg before. Don't stop the music. I want to see that class empty. <laughs> Can you do the Jeopardy music? Put it on when, you, when he's drinking it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Chad is very unimpressed with yeah. Banana Man's inability to eat an egg. Don't be a it's, it's an egg. It's food. Yeah, there you go. No, come on. Hey, Finish quit, it. Quit. Finish it. That's it. No, no there's no residue. On. Finish it. Oh, it's going to my suit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I, I, I spilled it. Oh, You're a <laughs> disgusting piece of crap. <laughs> All right, well, I don't ever want to hear you talking about us cheating. 
<laughs> Look at what you've done. Uh, Look, I, I hope you're proud of yourself. Uh, I brought up the quiz for you, my friend. Well, in any case... Fuck you, both of in you. In any case, very unimpressive showing by my uh, counterpart, the Banana Man, this, this week. Hey, uh, I was very man. impressed by the, uh, by the, by the news. Hey, by I'm the sports great, news. Great brought to us. From myself, right? Yeah, well, well done. Great, great quiz on the part of uh, Tarkin. Way to choose the... Uh, way, yep. Great subject matter, GTA 5. Banana Man should have done better. Maybe next time. Uh, in any case, for the Banana Man and Tarkin Aslan, I'm the guy in the black shirt. That was the Dumpster Fire gambling stream for today, Thursday, the 22nd of February 2024. But don't go anywhere. Stick around because we are about to start our uh, our Twitter spaces with the British chicks. Yeah, yeah, you have to log in into Twitter. Yes. So, um, where's the link? In bio? Put the link somewhere. Um, no, you're just staying here, everybody on Twitch. Um, we're just gonna go offline real quick, and then we'll be back in one second. We're right back. <laughs>